Holy shit. Jack off Jack. J Jack off Jack uh, comments already? How did you even know I was live? But I am live. And who else is in here? Who are you? Uh, the freaking media. The freaking media ain't in here. I'd just like to say, who are you? Let's see who else comes in because I ain't going to give Jack off Jack the opportunity to see Robert. Robert Reap. Guess what? Guess what you get to see first? You get to see that head. Look at it. Would you just look at it? Look at it. It's all bald. It's complete and blank if you want me. Don't blink, Matt. I'm watching you. But look at it. Would you look at it, Robert Reap? You're the only one looking. Everybody else closed their eyes. While Robert Reap looks at my head. Look at it. Look at that beautiful. Isn't it beautifully horrific? Joe Black, good to see you. Chain Weaver, good to see you. Of course, John D. Nicola, the smartest man when it comes to legal issues on the internet. John D. Nicola, good to see you. You're blind, Matt. You're blind. Oh, no. <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem, uh, Jack. Uh, 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 John D. Nicola, that sounds like a personal issue. <laughs> oh, you're blind because you looked at the eclipse without protection? Yes, you just put a moon in front of my head and it would be just like the eclipse. Wait for a few people to get in here. We have six concurrent people. Isn't it amazing how much, how many people watch me? You'd think more people would, but I'm not on all the time like all the others. You know, I, I, I not a regular, uh, that's for sure. Um, you know, what do you, what can you say? That's right. That's right. Joe Black, uh, you thought it was the moon. It's not the moon. It's the head. It's the tongue ahead. <laughs> Creole, good to see you. Where's your uh, a partner in crime? Ray, Raging Cajun Randy. You're probably watching a Louisiana something play somewhere. Good to see you, Creole. All right. Now that we got everybody in here, that's important. I'm going to go ahead and put the invite out so that y'all can come on to the stream yard. If you would like. And there it is. Right there. If you want up, come on up because we got a few things to discuss about my case. I have not filed the motions yet that I said I was going to file on Monday because I've been reworking them. Howard Clegg, good to see you. I've been reworking them and reworking them and the motions for both the magistrate, of course, and, uh, and the uh, prosecutor. You got to give them both a copy. You and the stream yard do not, definitely do not mix. It's like oil and water, Creole. Oh, that, okay, Nat. Uh, thank you for sticking in there and listening. Again, if you'd like to be up on the stream yard, just go ahead and click that HTML link right there. StreamYard link right there. No, I do not want chat GPT right now. Thank you, Microsoft. Thank you very much for popping that up for me, Microsoft. Seven concurrent viewers. Government accountability porn. That's right. Hey, did everybody see that judge hold that gun? To that dude's head. Did you see that? Was that crazy? Did every, Give me a thumbs up if you saw that judge hold that gun to that guy's head in the back of his truck. 
All right. I got you, Jack Off Jack. Here you go. You're up on the panel. Good to see you, Jack Off Jack. Hey, are you there? I am there. I can hear you five by. Okay. So you said you wanted exposure. So I'm doing my best. I see that. Uh, you know, I, I may not chat in some chats, but I, I do see, uh, excuse me, I do see you pumping me out out there and i see john d nicola pumping me out there joe black hasn't done a fucking thing for me yet though all right there's, to... there's many folks but you've been you, you're the underground otter you've been hiding so don't try to punk us you you've been, <laughs> okay so you know do what you're gonna do and that's what you do you kind of do what you do without them knowing what they're doing so if we expose this to everybody, well, then they're watching it. Well, that, that's another reason why I'm here today. Um, I'm going to start uh, uh, doing the stream yard a little bit more and more. Um, Thin Blue Line Slayer, good to see you. Again, if you want up on the chat, up in the uh, stream yard, just go ahead and uh, click that link right there. Um, right, so do you have a mission statement? Do Other I have a... Yeah, other than being a Marine, do you have a mission statement? Well, I I, I think uh, I think I had one up on my channel at one time. Uh, it might still be there. I, I'm not sure. I don't well, have a mission statement, no, well, not really. Like myself, you know, uh, like I look at a person, you know, uh, a soul, and then what they have uh, said about themselves and their actions and reactions. You know, and usually that's posted within the about section or even sometimes with each video and maybe it's educational, maybe it's for purpose, maybe it's this or that. But if we can get that, that would be great because then folks can just kind of, if you're, if you're willing to go above ground, then, you know, we're going to have to do something different. Yeah. I, you know, I, I understand uh, the algorithms and you have to be out there all the time in order to, uh, you know, to be seen. I mean, to get the views, to get the clicks and that'll add, uh, uh and they lock uh, your ass up and they don't nobody know about it. Well then what? I mean, that's what yeah. you do. You, you go to prisons where folks is locked up, told in into fucking hell, you know, and then you're, you're there on the outside. We can't even see inside. I mean, I've been watching this for a bit, and I know it's your family, and you know you have a, you know, personal connection. But uh, if, if you're going to do this different from the last time that we met, from the time that we're going forward, we're going to need to do something different. I think that's just what I think. I mean, I, I'm, I'm of the mindset that no man can tell another man what to do, but I am just putting that out there. Yeah, I I agree. Uh, what what I, I think what I see happening is that if you're about uh, to get goddamn locked up, possibly, and then you want to know someone knows that you're in hell, you're gonna need to reach out. And Rogue Nation is 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 it? You know, he's he's big. You got these other ones. You know, I don't really trust in them. I kind of I kind of trust Rogue. Yep, bit. I trust Rogue. Uh, uh, I trust road. I would trust road with my life. Actually. Then the line slayer. Good to see you, brother. Hey brother. What's going on, man? It's going, it's going. Uh, thank Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I, you know, uh, another thing with the algorithm is, you know, they YouTube likes to make money. Um, and I'm not monetized, so they don't push me out there. I don't do a lot on, on, but your brother uh, know you. Go ahead. I said, your brothers know you if you announce yourself. Yeah. Um, I, I do, I do what I do. Um, and I, you know, I, all I could do is, is show people my work at, at, at where I'm at and what I'm doing uh, when I when I come out and like on StreamYard here. Um, 
I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I know that there are people out there that know me. I mean, I've had videos go, you know, 11 to 50,000 views. You know, my arrest in Pitt County went 50,000 views, but, uh, a lot of people uh, put that video out bigger than me, and that drew drove of uh, people to my site. To I, I cannot generate that on my own. Apparently, um, no matter no matter an extended period of time on on any of my videos. Um, no, what you need is I just all I could do is. What's what you want is people that care about you and, and care about the same things you care about. Well, I thought uh, like when I did Randolph County that people would be uh, be interested first and foremost in a dog that was completely destroyed by a car crash um, of a, a uh, deputy. Uh, a corrupt corrupt right deputy. And it, it never it never, it, you know, you would think everybody would love the puppy. A piece of shit. But bang nobody up. cared. A piece of shit canine cop. All right. And all of them videos are on, on my channel. Uh, we did major investigation on that, and I was on top of it almost every day, uh, pumping it out. Um, uh, but, you know, uh, the uh, animal rights people could care less about a canine uh, dog that got destroyed within six months of its beginning of its service. Uh, uh, no, nobody, nobody apparently gave a shit about that dog. I did. Well, I, I didn't even know that they destroyed them as an instrument until you showed me that. They, yeah. create, that, they create that 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 weapon, and then they have to destroy it. I didn't even know that. And you have educated me, sir. That's why I listen to. Have you. to. I follow you. Now, other folks are probably just here for the. The glim and the glamour, and, and I, I I can't judge everybody. I, I I won't do that. Actually, I won't because I don't know everybody's yeah. situation. But I have followed you, and you seem to uh well to be on track with uh actually giving a shit about a life. Well, if it's a dog, yeah. You know, think um, about I. It. You know what? Listen, you're um, a marine. Listen, listen to me. Would you, would you, would you please, sir? You're a Marine trained by government. You came in probably as a dog, trained like a dog. That's probably why you can see this. You see, I watch all this shit. I'm, 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 I'm of no trickery. I see it from the get go. And so now, because you were treated as a dog and trained, and told to do this and do that. And now you got to stand up, maybe bite your owner. Uh, well, did you see the dirt. video of the, oh, did you, did you see the video of uh, the training that went happened, what that went on in New Jersey? I think New Jersey watcher put it out and then John civil rights attorney put it out. Um, that's a pre that's uh, that training is bulletproof training 2.0. And I did a I did a show on bulletproof training, uh, where that colonel was a former army colonel, who used the same training tactics to train police as he did uh, army personnel, and probably Marine Corps and Air Force and and other personnel to kill your enemy. So whenever I see bulletproof training and uh, that training that. Uh, training course that they went through in New Jersey and all across the country. Uh, it threw me back to my Marine Corps boot camp days where I was pounded in the head with kill, kill, kill and dehumanizing of the enemy and, and, and that they're lower than you and they don't deserve to live. Uh, we're here to protect the American sheeple, the people. And uh, your job is to kill the enemy that's going to hurt the people. And that's what I see in policing today. Exact you know, same thing. You know, it's really kind of, it's, it's kind of strange. And it's weird to figure out. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, we hear you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. okay. So uh, you've got like uh, a baby born 
with the clean slate knows nothing and is only brought up by uh, its parents or, you know, and who knows what the parents are, but whether it be a piece of shit parents, some starving parents, some ignorant parents, some uneducated, maybe somebody living off the government, you know, and, you know, myself, and I don't be mean to be ugly to you because you signed up to be a Marine. And I actually understand what it means. I think I understand what it means to be a Marine. I'm not a Marine. I do live on, on, on uh, the earth and the water myself. Actually, I'm right now on the water uh, getting rained on. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I'm not of the government, though. You know, uh, I have not been instructed that way. Now, I have been instructed by government schools this and that. You know, so I understand if you take like a, a completely newborn baby and then put it into a situation and then when it turns 18 it has to do something uh, to provide for itself and if it's a man well it's, it's actually going to have to provide for for its children its wife or mama's daddy's babies whatever uh, you know there's that that there's that you know so uh, you know how do we all fit into that we're, we're all just trying to survive within our government within our environment you know i see marines as like cruising cruising and doing shit within the environment and changing it you know what i mean that's where my respect comes from not from the government but like any motherfucker that will go anywhere and do something Hey Mike Freeman, yeah. good to see you. Mike Mike Freeman is in the in the in the stream yard here. Good to see you in the chat. I'll shut up. I'll shut up if anybody else wants to speak. Uh, Thin Blue Line Slayer, you want to say something before I start with my uh with I start with before I start with my presentation? Well, no, I, I agree with what you said about um the police being like uh soldiers, man. And who are they fighting against? The American people? It makes no fucking sense. But there you go. Who, That's what I got to say. Who is their enemy? Who are their enemy that they are trying to kill to protect the sheeple? That's the Third Amendment. You can't have that here. Me and you. Me, you, and everybody else that gets in their fucking way. And the judges are there to protect them, as we could see that fucking stupid ass motherfucking judge. Did you see the interview? He just, if that was any normal motherfucker, he just convicted himself. They don't have to follow uh, along with the Fifth Amendment because they, they even though they can incriminate themselves, they're never going to be held to the same standard. That motherfucker uh, volunteered. To say that he stuck a gun to a other person's head. That judge was not acting as a judge. He didn't have a robe on. He wasn't even in the court, which means he was a private fucking citizen at that time. I'm on that too, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Matt, what do, you, what do you mean? You think that, listen, the cops don't get in trouble for doing what the fuck they do. Why would a judge? I'm just saying. I still can't even find that guy's channel. They didn't even post it. Yeah, I, I don't know who that dude is, but you know what? No, no, he, I, I, I seen his name and I did a search for it on YouTube and I couldn't find it. But the other people were saying, oh, hey, I found it. I, I joined. Yeah, where's he well, at? If, if anybody, knows, if anybody real, knows that guy's channel, uh, post it up here on the on the chat and I'll and uh, so everybody could check it out. Why don't you fucking talk? Do you not talk to uh? You not talk to Rogue? Um, I I've been on his uh, live streams, uh, his stream yards a couple times. Um, you know, you not pay attention to what you're doing. I mean, everything I've no. seen, you're like sneaking snooker. You're like playing snooker pool with these fuckers. Um, and I'm 
Wrong I'm, I'm, just, I'm destroying them. I'm absolutely, li literally fucking ripping them apart. Well, and, and you're like a sniper from two miles away putting them down. I'm just pew pew, and that's not a that's a, a jack up jack. I'm not sniping anybody with a gun. Oh, I'm sniping them with motions and etiquette, procedure, and their own fucking rules. Listen, I have been beat down by government, physically hurt by cops, thrown in jail for no no for no victim. Uh, and so this is why I'm here. You know, you know, and I've never liked the government, but then I do find folks that are have been in the government that actually give a shit and have seen part of it. You know, that's just a little bit of the respect I get from you. Because I don't really respect Marines because they're of the government. But if you're willing to challenge the government, and especially local government, then I'm all on board. I'll even get on your ship. We'll look for ruse around. That's fine. I, you know, you know I, my, my, my oath, when I swore my oath, I swore my oath not to defend government. My oath was to uh, sworn to defend the Constitution. Do you know where the Constitution comes from? Uh, a bad bathroom trip? Probably. It's respecting what's God's rights. That's, that's, that's given to us at birth. It has nothing to do with this fucking government. If, that if you God, are, that, that if the, God, the, very government that calls you a Marine because you went through some goddamn testing that's calls you a Marine. You don't get that respect from me. I know you did some cool shit, but it's what you're going to do now. And all these little bitches that call themselves uh, veterans uh, over overseas, were they here fighting for our rights like you are now? You're fighting for your own rights within your own government that you done went and fought for rich man's government hey, somewhere no. else. And now here you are now doing your shit and teaching. You're actually teaching sharing. The, the government, the, the, the constitution was written. The constitution was based upon British common law. And before that it was the Magna Carta. And then, you know, you have the, all the French, okay. uh, uh, no, not so much English, but the French ha were more That's of the libertines. The they were the ones that the, the French were the ones that, really started the whole entire not started but were really influential in uh uh government other than um royalty that people what? have to have the right to be represented and and all of that hey cajun randy good to see you man hey randy um, if you want up on the stream yard, Randy or anybody else, just go ahead and yeah, click on that link right there. When um, I think of, when I think of the French, I think of Monty Python. <laughs> when the when the French show up at the gates. <laughs> well, there was a lot of literature from from uh, throughout Europe about liberty um, and freedom. Uh, liberty but, is not the same as freedom. Th that's liberty, why I said liberty and freedom. Liberty is not the same as freedom. Liberty that's, is something granted <laughs> by government. All right. Okay. N enough talk about that silly constitution thing. Yeah, I agree. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start. Freedom is actually a, freedom is actually yep. a state of mind. It's not it's not you're not really free unless you're free in your head. It's a state of mind. It ain't really a truth. Yes, I agree with that. Go ahead. Um, I'm sorry. Go nobody ahead. can yourself. ever be truly free unless there is no government. But then you would have you know, the alphas in society and, and, the, and not in society, but then you would have the alphas getting together and creating their own governments and then they'd fucking steal your shit. Yeah, people right. just, people So it'd be just, just like another government. But, but, no, but that's why you have a right to defend yourself because you could get a, a, together with your buddies and pals to defend yourself. Pew, 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 pew. 
Um, so the, the premise of Bill of Rights was really hard to get into the Constitution. That's why you had the, the Federalist Papers and the Anti-Federalist Papers. It was pretty much uh, a the fight. Constitution, the Constitution is a fucking color count drawing of, of our rights as humans. That's being birthed. That's all it is. It's a, it's a, it's a color crown drawing of, of, of what we should be respected. It doesn't come from God. I am a God fearing man. I love God. I believe he loves me. I, I respect that to the next person and your governments. You can take and do what you want to. If you want to lay down and, and pray to bow, you can do that. That's not mine. We're free men. Now you're muted. You're muted. No, I'm not. I could see me bouncing. Can you hear me? I'll shut up. No, yeah, no, no, no. You don't have to shut up. It's just whenever somebody else speaks uh, and, and they're speaking, uh, please try to, I mean, you could agree and all of that, but just, you know, let them finish and, and then uh, you could speak again. Um, now I lost my train of thought, but I, what I'm, what I'm going to well, do. Well, you're going to share something with us. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start my presentation. Okay. And it's going to look, it's looking like this. Um. All right. Now, I said the last time I saw everybody that I was going to file uh, two motions. Um, one motion to uh, dismiss all charges. And this is this motion right here. And then a couple days later, I was going to I'm going to file a motion to change venue. Um, I have both of them ready. Um the reason why I'm doing it separately is because I want them to read the dismissal motion first. And then second, I want to be taken out of that county. And it's based upon these motions right here. Okay. And, and, and this will roll real easy and you'll get it and you'll understand. Okay. I write up here. I humbly ask this court to dismiss all charges. Defense char uh, the defense charges violation of his constitutional rights and judicial misconduct according to court rules, procedures, etiquette, and judicial canons. See document 1 to 26, PowerPoint document 1 to 24, and a thumb drive. Thumb and this drive. one's going to... And this one's going to McDowell County Magistrate Court, Danny Mitchell. You're going to like this one. I write here, a First Amendment violation of the United States Constitution, freedom of speech, and of the press. Fourth Amendment violation of the United States Constitution, the warrantless arrest, search, and seizure of the defendant and his property. Six a Sixth Amendment violation of the United States Constitution, his right to a speedy trial and a denial of a trial by jury. An Eighth Amendment violation of the United States Constitution, cruel and un unusual punishment via undue length of trial. A Fourteenth Amendment violation of the United States Constitution, due process and malicious prosecution. Remember all the baselines by which it's not limited to what I'm writing here uh, because there are added pages as is represented up here. See a little check mark? Check of continuing sheets. Okay. I say right here, D.A. Puckett. Unnecessary delaying tactics and frivolous motions, i.e. drone footage continuance, are in violation of the 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution, due process and malicious prosecution. The prosecution has exculpatory evidence given in discovery, 2021, Fourth Circuit Court, Wingate versus Fulford, maps, 
and deed to the property in question. Due to D.A. Puckett's delaying tactics and unethical behavior, i.e. door ajar, and you'll see uh, in the video that I'm including the court of the trial, the defendant has been stripped of many of his rights. See attached documents, page 1 to 26, PowerPoint document, page 1 to 24, and thumb drive. Ding, 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 ding. The defendant never received the entirety of his GoPro videos of all interactions with F the FCI McDowell guards on the day in question. Only the videos D.A. Puckett was using on the day of the trial. The defendant has the right to view the entirety of these GoPro slash iPhone videos to bring into full context the totality of circumstances on that day. Oh, the so defendant I knows for a... Say, you, you got, got something to say, Jack? Yeah, so now you're going to go around your own video and look for their video. Right. Okay. The defendant knows for a fact, a fact, that his iPhone started recording because of the sound made when activating video recording from his iPhone that was captured on his GoPro video recording on the day in question. Now, I want to show you this. This is the video. Okay, and I'm going to get to that here in a second. But let's continue and finish this. Magistrate Mitchell is not in control of his courtroom, knowingly permitting unethical practices by Trooper Jones, DA Brittany Puckett, FCI CO Looney, Bailiffs and court clerk, all government actors in brackets. Emphasis added. That's that legal shit. Do you say, hey, you have to take note to what I said before. To violate the defendant's right to have a speedy, impartial, and fair trial. This judicial act defrauded the defendant of a speedy, fair, and impartial trial. I claim. All evidence and witnesses are now fruit from a poisonous tree. See attached video evidence and attached timeline document, page 1 to 26. The statute of limitations for prosecuting misdemeanor charges in West Virginia is 12 months from the date of arrest. The uh, West Virginia Code 61119. Through no fault of the defense, this trial is now at 20 months and counting. This is an excessive amount of time to prosecute such simple charges as obstructing and trespassing. Okay, now that's the cover. Now that's the cover of the motion. Now, there are, all, like I said, there's page 126, timeline, timeline. Then there's a PowerPoint presentation with the evidence of uh, uh, the evidence tampering, which I'm going to get to in a second. Um, and this motion. So let's go ahead and drop that down here. And what we're going to do is we are going to. Oh, shit. Where'd it go? Okay. I'll have to bring it up. Oh, wait, I got um, more okay. I have to, sh I have to pick, uh, get in here. Uh, um, I have to find I'll it. The girl room. No, it's, oh, I know where it's at. Um, no, I'm sorry. I, I should have had this already. Oh, yeah, here we go. I want to go to the report. This is the from 
Uh, let me blow it up. This is from Miss McCabe. Now, remember, I said in my motion that I have facts that there was iPhone videos taken that day. Miss McCabe at the West Virginia State Forensics Lab. And this is her document. The Miss McCabe at the West Virginia State Lab tells us everything we need to know what she did. The important thing I want to show you is down at the bottom. So first off, she has physical evidence. One CTI, which is an iPhone. It says it right here. One is a SIM card, right? Which was removed from CT1. And one is RMI. And that is my GoPro Max. Now, I've not gotten my my equipment back. I've filed motions to get my equipment back. I've been denied. Okay, so let's go down. To the conclusion. Miss McCabe, are you listening to me? I don't think you are. Miss Fucket Pucket, are you listening to me? I'm going to prove that everything that you have on me, the evidence, is fruit from a poisonous tree. It cannot, not the witnesses, nor the evidence can be brought into trial because it's poison by your actions and the judge's actions and the court clerk's actions, and Looney's actions, and Trooper Jones's action, and the bailiff eating the donuts actions, talking to the witness on the stand. You are all party to ex parte communications. I, as a defense counsel, have the right to ask every one of you questions about what was said in that ex parte communication. Are you going to afford me that opportunity? Judge, magistrate. I don't think so because you're fucking corrupt just like all the other fucking judges out there. Most of the judges. Um, well, they all are corrupt. Some of them have to do the right thing. They don't like you like down in Pitt County. A lot of DAs don't like or district or prosecutors don't like to do the things that they do like, you know, Drop the case. They have to drop the case with me. They have to fucking say not guilty with me because I document everything. I I create my own record. I have to create the record because these court, these trials and these hearings are not on record. They could say whatever they fucking want to after the fucking fact. And they're going to be believed before me. So why do I write these extensive motions? Why do I do the things that I do? Documentation. Joe, hi. You know, I'm making a mental note of where we left off. But okay. As, as, as a, as a, uh, I, I consider myself a uh, God-fearing person, and I read scriptures, and I do know that that the God says all will be known, which means you'll document your own shit. Right, God's you God. have to document. God's- that's your All first right. amendment. That's your first amendment right there. No, no, that's not. You have the document. You have the document for appeal. That's you your religion. That you have the document for appeal. All right. Uh, the religion is is that you will all things will be known. Therefore, you will document. Right or wrong, whether the government or the Nazis think that it's right or wrong, that they try to hide from the light. 
They're going to be found. They're going to be, the light's going to be shined. Right. Number and I'm shining number. the light right now on Miss McCabe. Miss McCabe, yeah. are now you hearing up. me? Miss McCabe, are you hearing me? This While is your Miss McCabe, do you understand that everybody else around you understands? Okay. All, will be All right. Let's get to this conclusion. Miss McCabe says apparent apparent videos dealing with the trespassing and obstruction uh, obstruction were recovered from RM1, which is what my GoPro and all possible relevant media was tagged and placed in the digital case report. The media was tagged by the location associated with the video. Very little data was extracted from the iPhone. I am the worst. I am. I am. You and I went through that shit, and they obscured it so bad. Okay. It was you had to Let fucking. Me. You had to go through there and make it like, like you had to look at it by file type, by fucking size, just so you could find. The we shit that, that that's right. We went file. through that, didn't we, Jack off Jack? Yeah, I know. I was right there with you, bro. Uh, uh, I know you were. Oh, you all were. If you ever need. Hey, I'll help any time. But you I, I really stuff. appreciate it, Jack off Jack. Oh, you get it yourself. Okay. I have no help all of it. I'm gonna shut up. You all have helped me. All right. So let's continue. I'll I'll reiterate, Miss McCabe. C M McCabe McCabe, the extraordinaire digital forensics analysis. She says, very little data was extracted from CTI, and upon review, it did not appear to contain any of any data of evidentiary value. None. Zero. No, no corruption at all. <laughs> the report was still included in the digital case report, but the investigating officer determined, determined relevant or for the uh, investigating officer to determine relevance, right? Now, we looked. There was no videos off of my iPhone that they gave me. There was no evidence on my iPhone. So why don't I have that back? If there's no evidentiary value on my iPhone, can I have it back, please? But I've asked multiple times. That shit in the cloud, you dumbass. I've asked multiple times to have my property returned and they turn me down. That's your own goddamn problem. You should have okay. put him in the car, you dickhead. You just call them a, assholes too while you're at it, Jack off Jack. No, you, you, you should have set that up to go to the cloud where if they took your device or not, oh. still have your fucking evidence. Well, well, I'm a stupid auditor, like I said, yeah. Jack. Off, Jack. You're, a jackass. You're a dumbass Marine. No, I'm a dumbass jarhead. That's right. Fuck. You, you know, but anyhow. But you're going to lie so, better. Let, let, me, let me show you this video now. I'll pay close attention. It's only nine seconds long. All right, let's come on, BLC. Play. Where the fuck is Cajun Rain? No. All right, let's shut it off for now. Where's Did the, everybody the, hear that fucking sound coming from my phone? Shut it off. It went bleep. Now, Thin Blue Line Slayer, what did you say earlier if it was a picture? What sound would it make? It'd make the shutter sound. Click, 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 click. Click, like click, yep. Yeah. Oh, Cajun Randy says, this must be the drone footage. <laughs> oh, oh, he's an expert witness, isn't he? Now, Miss McCabe. How do we qualify as to be an expert witness? Uh, you have to go to school. 
a government trying? Yeah, government school. Okay, Miss McCabe, can I ask you a question? Why do you say that there was no very little data to extract from CTI? And it did not appear to contain any data of evidentiary value. This is an evidentiary value where I was standing. All right, let's shut it off for now. Blank, blank. Miss McCabe, you doctored evidence. You admitted evidence. You excluded evidence. Miss McCabe, any response? No. So I'm not a stupid auditor that forgot to turn his camera on the whole three hours that I was there. You mean to tell me that you don't have one video off of my iPhone? I'm standing at the fucking front gate. Don't you think that that's evidence? Miss McCabe? Trooper Ricky Bobby Sue Jones? Brittany Fucket Pocket? That's not evidence? Now we know why they don't want me to have my iPhone. Because my iPhone picked up everything much clearer, sound-wise and video-wise than my GoPro. This is why they gave me 360 video only of my GoPro, and they didn't give me the flat. They wanted to distort the picture. Nice and large. You need to put that up in the coil. That's right. They wanted to fuck me and then give it back to me because then they know I can't do a fucking thing about it. Yeah. Ricky Bobby Sue acting as a lawyer. That's right, yeah, John B. But, but you got you got no fuckers otherwise. <laughs> again, again, I'm fucking you motherfuckers down there it. in McDowell that's County. What trying, that's what I was trying to tell Ro. I don't know why these mother hey like you're right on, man. I mean you, you got ripped the law. On. you got a law, you got this. I mean, you're holding on to it. Other, I mean, like all of the views and the watches that that come through the community are pretty much like somebody cussing out a cop, right? But they're not learning the law. You know, they're they're to, they're there to watch like a cop get punked. You know, and, and they'll very rarely see a judge get punked. Every once in a while, you might go over. And say uh, uh, the DUI or the civil rights lawyer, and see a, a lawyer get pumped. They're they're there for clicks and like they they've been beat up. They've been beat up several times. These folks is here because they're hurt. They're fucking hurt. They've been beat up. You know, hey, all my life, man, I have fucking you know worked my ass off. Two jobs, three jobs, eighty hours a week, sometimes even more. You know just to pay for you know where i wasn't even taught the law that i'm supposed to live within the law they just taught me how to read and write they didn't even teach me how to make a checking account they don't teach me nothing how how are we supposed to live within this government as agents of the government when we don't even know that we're agents of the government they didn't teach us that they're the they're fooling us into this shit just to get locked up, just to get fined, yep. just yep. to take our freedom from us. We don't know. We're just trying to fucking stay afloat. As a Marine, I know that's what you do. You'll stay afloat, or even go under float. You know, that's what we do as people. We're Marines ourselves, just trying to live within, navigate this goddamn fucked up shit ass fucking system that everybody's been born into my grandmother was born up in the mountains and she had no social security number she didn't know what a government was we made her own smoke 
We made our own damn drink. No matter if it was wine, whiskey, brandy, or motherfucking moonshine. We shared, we traded between each other. This government comes in and taxes us off of top of what we done been doing. Calls what's right and wrong, then makes a law. And then charges us guilty as nasty ass slaves. This is this is why I'm here. Now shut up and just listen to you. All right. Uh, good good fine. good point, man. Good point. You know, uh, Sergeant I'll York. Sergeant York had I'll bring us back to foundation. The foundation is, is that we are the people before even the government got here. We were born before there was a government, before there's a birth certificate, before there's a social security number, before all of that. I am before all of that bullshit. All right. So, Miss McCabe. Do you understand that? I do. I know. You, you, you're more than just a government number? Um, okay. Are you more people than back in the hills? And people back in the hills had no clue about World War One until it was over. Exactly. If then, there was no depression for those folks. They they were always poor, fucking living off the land and bartering and trading. They didn't have money. We'll trade you eggs for corn. Give me that hog, and I'll, I'll help you. Uh, uh, give you the lumber for the fucking uh, barn you're building, and we'll help you build it too. I got a, I got a goat over here. I'll trade you for, you know, your best rooster. That's true. That's true. Freedom. Uh, that's true. Uh, economic freedom, right there. Yeah. It's value for value. What you set yeah. value, and I set a value, and we come together. And you know what? The old, the old adage is that when both people walk away uh, feeling that they, they, they got a good deal, then they got a good deal, right? Well, either it'll come back. <laughs> they call that dickering up in the Northeast. I but, call it, I call okay. It. So now so, what you're doing here inside of this system, which is what this is, you're living in a, in a system, Mr. Underground Auger. You're living in a system trying to navigate that system. You're, you're, you're not in the other non-system. All right. So what I'm going to uh, show you uh, next. I'm going to shut up. Okay. What I'm going to show next is what we've all seen, but I'm going to bring it into a little bit more context because people were saying, well, we don't know what the, the document that uh, she handed Looney on the stand. So. I'm going to show the document first that she is about ready to hand Looney. Okay. And this is my evidence. This is the evidence that I was going to present on my side because they have no evidence of me trespassing. Nobody pulled out their phone. Nobody took a picture. They all have fucking cell phones. They, they have a fucking federal corrections institution you don't have cameras out there to show you have to use my evidence and I'll show you it right here. Yeah, Miss they're not gonna make they are gonna make themselves guilty on their own. Miss, <laughs> Miss I thought they had drone footage. <laughs> yes, drone footage. They have drone footage and we need to continue this, Your Honor. Because Ricky Bobby Sue Jones is getting it next week from the forensics lab, Miss Fucking McCabe. I haven't come up with a nickname for McCabe yet. <laughs> uh, McCabe the babe? I don't know. Because she is a woman, and them women, them professional, independent, strong, independent women hate to be I'm called sure. a babe. So I'm going to call Miss McCabe the babe. Uh, do you hear me, babe? Sweet cheeks. Miss McCabe. Miss Pocket Pocket. Pocket. I thought she was your girlfriend. 
No, that was like the polling. The prosecutor from Randolph County. She yeah, wanted me. She right. wanted me. Okay. So here we go. I'm, you saw that that picture again. I'll show you the picture again. She hands Lieutenant Looney this picture, and, and of course, she says, this picture is from Mr. Ballin. We already did all this GSI bullshit. Where's okay. the drone footage? Where is the drone footage, Miss Bucket Bucket? We already did all this GSI. We know what the road and the property is and what's public and what's fucking state. See that public. fence line, Miss Bucket Bucket? And what's prohibited? Do you see that fence line, Miss Puckett? Where's my car? Here's the gate. That's the main gate. This is the sign for the fucking prison. Good Come God. up this road. Do you see any closed gate here? Hey, listen. Like in, in commerce, they hire pretty women, and they hire dumb women because they are smart. But in this case. That didn't happen either way. See the gate? See the gate right here? It ain't even closed. There is the gate swings open, but it's always open. Huh. I wonder why, Miss Bucket. Bucket. Okay. This is the the picture. Mama, she, Mama said you ain't supposed to be there. Yes. Okay. So let's go to here. And we're going to watch this again. So you have better context of what image she is showing him. Mama said. Okay. Um, I stepped out. And that's when I made contact. All right. So tell me what happened when you got out of the vehicle. Um, I asked him how was he doing. Uh-huh. Uh, he made a comment about my backhoe that I was chewing at the time. Okay. Um, then I said, ask him please lock the Okay. Now at this point, was it what was the film owner? Do you know? He had one camera across the road on our property facing our rear gate in our industry or our what we call recycling now. Okay. And he was in front of his car with a GoPro filming it straight at the institution up our road towards the main facility. Okay. Did he advise why he was filming or anything like that? He said he wasn't answering. Okay. He said he had his rights to film everything. All right. Uh, when you, how was he? How was his behavior and demeanor? Uh, it got really aggressive really quick. Okay. And um, tell me what was some of the things that was going on. Um, I kept asking him not to film. I told him to film everything. He called me some derogatory names and told me that he knew more than me. Um, that I needed to get my ASS back into the prison and worry about the inmates. Okay. Um. I told Mr. Bowen that, you know, I was responsible for security and he was uh, demeaning that security at that time. Okay. Um, he said Google Maps could show a picture of the prison. Okay. Which he is correct, but it does not show the cars going in and out of the prison. It does not show what times we leave. If you post this on YouTube, that allows inmates' families to see license plates cars, what we drive, when we drive, how we drive. Um, it also shows our security procedures. We have authority and jurisdiction. Say again? It's idiots think they have authority and jurisdiction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Has no defense. So he's on our area with inmates that, you know, he could just drop something off to him. He could show in his family that he's there. This is a severe security breach. Yes. yes it is. Okay. Now, at any point, has Mr. Ballin ever been on any um, inmate list to visit that you're aware of? Was this the first and only interaction that you've had with Mr. Ballin? Okay. About how long mm -hmm. uh, was this interaction before you felt it necessary to uh, call, I guess, was you call 911? Yeah, about, okay. about 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, and um, the voice not connected to the last player. And then did 
Did anyone show up in response? Uh, yes. Uh, and at that point, uh, once Trooper James arrived, did did you allow the state police to take over the investigation? Yes, I, I didn't know you had, Did you have any further um, dealings with Mr. Ballin at that time? All right. I am going to show you. This is a, let's see, this is a photo I think that Mr. Ballin has provided me. Any time now, sweetheart. Any time. She's a fucking maroon. She's an idiot. Would you get your shit in order before you come to trial, Miss Bucket Bucket? She has no drone footage. Where is she looking for the drone footage in there? This photograph right here, okay? Okay. And that's going to be State's Exhibit 1. Number one. Like she's all that and shit. Girlfriend. Yeah, I do. Any fucking day now. Sorry, the videos are a little bit behind. <laughs> I can't believe she's wearing that outfit in trial. Isn't she sexy? Fuck you, outfit. No, sir. Sorry about the video being a little bit off. Oh, All right. <laughs> Hey, you're in trial and she's wearing that outfit. Isn't that fucking right. hilarious? Well, Tina, I'm going to show you a video too, and I will mark it as well as State's Exhibit 2 of um, 
GoPro footage that has been downloaded from uh, Mr. Ballin's uh, GoPro. Can you take a look at this video? I object. I never received my GoPro video or video off of my camera. I reviewed all of the data from the state police barracks or the state police analytics lab, and I received no video from my camera nor my GoPro at all in discovery. Uh, Your Honor, he's been provided a flash drive with all that information on it. it was mailed out to him. That is incorrect, Your Honor. I searched that uh, thumb drive in and out through multiple applications to find any MP4, any a AVI files, any video files, AF ASF. I, I went through the whole entire hard drive, the thumb drive, and there was no videos except for two videos that did not apply to this case. For fuck's sake. You're a liar. You received those videos. All right. Am I back? Yeah, you're back. Did you go for Am I back? Or... Yeah, you're back. I got I got kicked off the internet for a minute. Oh. Fuck. Hey, you're a liar. You received those videos. Did he get kicked off? What are you talking about? Matt. I think he got kicked off again. There he goes. You're back. All right. Is everybody still All right, here? We can hear you now. Yep, we can hear you now. All right. My my internet's fucking up on me, man. All right. So we continue, shall we? I objected. Not getting the video. Now we're going in the room to watch this video right here. Now I'm going to throw this video up while we while we're in there. You can see we're in there. Hey, Joko KS Cop Watch. Good to see you. Joe Cooley Cool. Good to see you here, Joko. This is what he does. Did you hear? Did you hear that? Did everybody hear him say this is what he does? I'm going to back it up. I'm going to back it up. You can clearly hear me. This 
This is what he does. Why are you talking to the bailiff? Hi. Looney? Uh, hey, uh, go ahead, Jack. I, di I didn't know you made this public. Yes, I said I did the show uh, last time I did the show. Yeah, I didn't catch that one, you know. Yes, I I, I showed this uh, in a well, different. I, I didn't know you made all of this public. Yes, I thought we was just at the door cracked open. Now nah, let them eat cake. No, it's both videos. Damn. So you manned up. Let him eat cake. I have you man no up. record you of Oh, you manned up. <laughs> He's like, hey, I caught you with your pants down. And yeah, maybe you don't like it. But here it is. Here it is. Now watch. Okay, well, I'll shut up, I'll shut up. This is too good. This is my cake. I'll be good. This is pie. He's watching the video. Did you hear what he said? This is government accountability porn. Why are you talking to the bailiff, Lieutenant Looney, Cajun Randy? Unsolicited testimony directly to the judge. Judge, Magistrate, Mitchell, I haven't named you either yet. I've been respectful. Mitchell the Why Mitchell. are you? The, uh, the, uh, yeah, you, you don't have a bar license. You don't have to be respectful. No, but hey, I'm still... Uh -huh, I'm still trying to hold my tongue when it comes... I'm, I'm trying to hold my tongue when it comes to the magistrate. Yes, I understand. And I was emotional the last show that I did. Uh, I, 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 think, I think Chili learned that one out. <laughs> he tried That's to exactly out. right. You don't right. do it in the courtroom. Don't, don't, don't do it in the courtroom. But her, that's their domain. They can do anything in there. All right, that's their continue. house. They can make the rules up. That's exactly right. Thank you, sir. So, let's continue. This is why God created Marines. Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> Looney cannot get off of what's going on in that room, can he? he keeps Order in the court. He keeps on pointing to the door and commenting under his breath. Why? Or why don't you just fucking say it out loud, dickhead? Because he knows it isn't allowed to be said in the courtroom and the judge isn't stopping him. Oh, he's guilty knowing. Order in the court. He's still allowing this to happen. Still allowing it to happen. They're all under contempt in court right now. They're all in contempt of court. They're all they're, they're all against all the etiquette, uh, procedure, rules, canons, uh, judge. What are you doing, judge? What if what if me and you got up there and started laughing and joking and doing that shit that they're doing? 
Contempt the court. Order in the court. Contempt the court. Shut up. You know? What would, what would happen if I went into that room? Bailiff, bailiff. And I opened up the door that, uh, at a point of the conversation that favored me. Bailiff. Contempt. Ex parte communication. Get your ass out here. The district attorney gets to ask you questions. Apparently, he's doing whatever the fuck he wants to do. That's right, John DiNicola. That's what they do in their courtroom, whatever the fuck they want to do in kangaroo court. Yep. All right. Let's continue to see Lieutenant Learney. And then the, the thing is, is he's on the stand on a vacation day. On a vacation day. He ain't even getting paid for this. <laughs> so that uh, that begs the question, does his fucking supervisor know that he's testifying on behalf of FCI <laughs> McDowell? <laughs> a federal fucking institution. I would question that. Is there somebody trying to hide? And, and the way I know this is at the end of the trial, whenever the judge said, okay, we'll have a continuance, get them them videos. Looney said, oh, I'm going to have to take another vacation day. You mean to tell me, Lieutenant Looney, that your supervisors aren't fucking paying you to testify? When better, have you ever heard that? You better, any cop you better, or anybody? Get, you better get that dog. You better get that dog. He didn't he didn't like the comment you made to him. Looney must have took that comment you made to him to heart. Oh yeah. Everything that I said to him, dirty rotten motherfucker, you know, oh I let him have it. And you'll see it in a second. Because as soon as my voice start you start to hear the video play, I'm gonna play the video in, in concert. Shut the fuck up, he's gonna play. Yes. So let's continue, shall we? Oh, Marcy, that wasn't a bite to even taste it. But when I bite a donut, I gotta go hide the meat off the first bite. <laughs> you go all the way to the scenery, right? <laughs> 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 Lieutenant Looney, why are you fist bumping the judge? Contempt the court. Why are you fist bumping the judge? Fist that bump. Like, that looks like incest. Order incest in the court. Incest. Incest in the court. Incest in the court. Yeah, you didn't know Looney is um Looney is uh uh the judge's son, but he's also his brother. You didn't know that? Wow. I'm intrigued now. Fuck. I'm just trying to contemplate that. How the fuck does that work? <laughs> but anyhow. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that fucking cackle. <laughs> Judge! And brother-in-law, Cajun Randy says. As soon as I start hearing my voice, I'm going to throw the video up and it's going to be on my video is going to be on mute. I don't watch all this. I've been trying to walk out on I'm 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 I'm
<laughs> How old are you? 18. Oh my god, I've worked here for 18 years. <laughs> In the court. I don't think my God looks at it like this. Huh? The persons that wrote the Constitution. I guess it's my age and my looking at these motherfuckers right now. Don't look. It looks like <laughs> sister. Laughing and crying, thinks it's fucking mm -hmm. fun. As they judge it. Wait for it. That's what I said. The video is about to start inside the room. Wait for it. I playing games. This is the video being played inside that room. It's kind of hard to hear. You probably should up that one. It's in the room. I couldn't get it any louder. No, I'm just saying. You can hear me enough, can't you? I'm not judging you. I'm saying I can't hear him. <laughs> can't hear him fucking lying. Nope. I should be louder than anything. My voice is louder than him. Now, I should still be able to hear him. Can't hear. He sounds like nothing. <laughs> Especially when I talk over him. Is that motherfucker going to sleep? Bitch about to go to sleep. Okay. Where's safety camera? 
is good for evidence, but it's not good for content. It is what it is, man. I, I mean, I'm, just I'm, in a courtroom I'm, illicitly, I'm in a courtroom illicitly fucking taking a fucking video, man. I'm, I'm just being honest. The 360 is good for evidence. Not really good for... Yeah, I thank you, Matt, for doing what you do. Survived the escalation. Can they survive a critical? Okay, you know I cut that rose like crazy. I tell you what, I heard that rose on that one. I got hundreds of Your Honor, I, I strongly, vehemently uh, object. That volume of files, there is at least 30 files on there. I extracted a bin file. If it was a bin file, it should have brought all the files just like on his computer. When I extracted the bin file, I got two videos, one from Hope, West Virginia, and, uh, and one from um, uh, uh, a youth detention center somewhere here in uh, south, uh, uh, southern West Virginia. There is no way that I know how to extract bin files. I know how to operate a computer. I am dead serious. I never received but three videos from the prosecutor in discovery. Your Honor, um, when when these the items were sent to the state, he actually provided them the flash drives to download onto. So he, if he's able to see one video, he was able to get all of the videos that was downloaded from the state police file. Judge, what the fuck are you doing? Line one, good to see you. Uh, Your Honor, there's utterly no way that I can prepare for this uh, uh, 15 files. 
I have not seen these files. I have not reviewed these files. I've not prepared for these files. I've not just uh, set up questions for these uh, uh, files. Um, I have. Yeah, but the whole it's the whole download is on one jump drive, which was provided to Mr. Ball. So he has had an adequate opportunity to review these files and prepare for today's hearing, which has been rescheduled and continued multiple times. Turn on footage. Files that he said he had, Your Honor, is under the same file. So if you saw the videos at the beginning of the file, all of them under the same file. That is correct, Your Honor. Trooper Jones, why are you talking to the judge? Are you the prosecutor? And Miss McKay, uh, Miss uh, Fucking Pucket, why don't you have these videos on your own fucking laptop? You're so badass. <laughs> why? Fuck it, fuck it. Are you so ill fucking prepared that you need to have a fucking trooper sitting next to you at the council table to provide your evidence for trial? Not the trooper's evidence. That evidence on his, on his computer is his evidence for investigation, dickhead. Not to be brought into trial. Because... I have the original from Miss McCabe a, 10 months earlier on one time drive. He is, about, he is about to give me another. He, he's about ready to give me another thumb drive in a second. Wait a second. A lot of people, I don't understand this. So how is it that you get discovery, but yet they get to investigate? And then how does that all go into uh, how you how you get your discovery? How does that work? Yeah, you're you're, you're muted or spitting. Maybe both. I think you're muted. I'm sorry. They have to give you evidence of the crime up front. They have to give you all the paperwork, including your background check and all of that up front. That is not discovery. It is technically discovery, but they'll give you another document dump of discovery once they uh, build their case. If I ask for their discovery, I have to ask them for their discovery. Well, and then in return... Evidence of what they're charging you about. Then, then in, in return... They can ask for reciprocal discovery from me. That the only time that they can ask me for my shit is if I ask them for their shit first. Now, and then you, I you have need, to, let's just stop this right now and, and make it evident because I have never seen this anywhere else of how you do about this. Because if you don't, and this is just because of you. It, 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 it's it's you, Tugger, or whatever somebody calls you, I don't care. But you say, as long as you don't ask for their discovery, then I can't ask you for their for your discovery. And if they don't present that discovery, that's exactly right. They can give me discovery all day long. No, they can look, I, I'm learning here from you, man. Okay, it's called reciprocal discovery for a reason. To reciprocate. I'm not trying to stop your your what you're trying to expose. I'm really not, but I'm just learning here at the same time. So they're so used to just these bar members throwing discovery this way and throwing discovery that way, and they don't even have to ask. They just give it over. That ain't the way it works. I proved that in Randolph County when I didn't offer my discovery to them, nor did I ask them for any discovery, but they gave it to me right up front. And I said, thanks for that voluntary disclosure. Now you it's ain't called, getting shit for me. It's called evidence. 
It's called evidence, Tugga. So everything that you present to them or what they present to you, say you were like, well, I could use the, the very old 1913 or whatever. Okay, we're traveling in the vehicle. Or you exigent circumstances, or are you uh, could be you know you know harming the public, or could be you know like you know time cops, you know you, you could be drinking right now and driving. I don't know, but I don't know, you know, and that's the whole thing is I don't know. If I was a cop, I would be like, I don't know. But if I was a citizen, I'd be like, I don't know either. So, I mean, you know, we're talking about the interactions between government and life. You're trying to tell us about how you're doing the exact same thing. That's This is what we do every day. We do it every day. We do it every day. With everybody we meet. That's within government. All corporations are of a government. They're signed under the government of the United States. We deal with these folks every fucking day. Would you agree? Yeah, now you're on mute. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll mute myself. You know, we'll just listen to what you got to say. Now, I said here on me. I'll shut up. Put myself on mute. Oh, you just mute it. Check, 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 check. Can you hear me? All right. Sorry about that. I had a uh, my computer's fucking up. All right, you're getting the far field of where we're at. So, jack off, Jack. Yes, it, it's all foobarred up. So, um, let's get back to this real quick and let's get it over with. And all I got was three files. We've had one continuous file Based on Mr. Bowen's assertion that he has not received all of his recorded phone relations, he will continue one more time. To make everything easier, Your Honor, if there's a gun shot, I think I can get to him just right now so we don't recognize I have a thumb drive with me, Your Honor. Do you have the thumb drive that we provided you? I don't know if it's the one that you provided me. It was over a, uh, six months ago. But was it from the prosecuting attorney's office? I, I had many uh, thumb drives given me by different prosecutors' offices. Sorry, I've won every case, Your Honor. That's good. <laughs> I've never lost in criminal court. Did you hear what the judge said? I said, I've gotten many thumb drives from many prosecutors' offices. And the judge said, that's not good. I said, excuse me. He said, excuse me. I said, excuse me. He said, that's not good. I said, no, that is good because I've never lost in criminal court, Your Honor. Now, why are you assuming, Judge, that that's a bad thing that I've gotten other thumb drives? 
from other prosecuting attorneys. Let's listen to that again. I don't know if it's the one that you provided me. It was over eight, uh, six months ago. But I've had many uh, thumb drives given me by different prosecutors' offices. Sorry? I've won every case, Your Honor. That's good. <laughs> I've never lost in criminal court. Look at Looney's face when I said that. Look at him. He's all dejected. That's all, folks. What the fuck, man? The judge said that's not good, assuming that that's a bad thing that I've won every fucking time in court, criminal court. And I'm three and four in civil court. Thank you very much. So all together in court, I am five and one. So why isn't that a good thing, Your Honor? Are you assuming uh, that I'm a criminal? Are you saying that I've gotten thumb drives that uh, prove that I was guilty in other cases, Your Honor? Would you say that to a lawyer, Judge? That's not good that you've gotten other thumb drives from other prosecutors. No, you wouldn't think negatively about that, would you, Danny Mitchell? You're kind of showing your bias there, aren't you, Judge? So how is it that I can have a fair trial at this point? It's all po a fruit from a poisonous tree. Looney, the judge, Miss Bucket Pucket, the bailiff, the clerk, Trooper Jones, you are all compromised ex parte communication. I want my day in court to ask all of you motherfuckers, including you, Judge, what was actually said in this trial. That's according to the rules, dickhead. That's according to the canons of your judicial obligation. Thank you. I just gave that to you. It's a reiteration of what's going to happen. Like I said in my motion, Magistrate Mitchell does not, in capital letters, have control of his courtroom. Magistrate. Danny, oh, Danny boy, I'll just call you, oh, Danny boy, because you're a boy. You are a boy dressed up in adult clothes. I wonder how many people you fucked in your day, 47 years on the fucking bench. Magistrate, who the fuck do you think you are, Danny boy? This is bullshit. All of it's bullshit. And by the way, Danny boy, where is that drone footage that they promised you uh, uh, to get after they continued the trial? Wasted your time. Oh, you don't look at it like that? They didn't waste your time? They didn't, they didn't on purpose delay this trial? I even asked for a speedy trial in a fucking motion, you asshole. And you know what he told me, old Danny boy? Old Danny boy told me, well, why would you want a speedy trial in a pre-trial conference or hearing? When he read that motion to a speedy trial, he looked at me and said, Mr. Ballin, why would you want that? I said, I'm ready to go right now, Your Honor. Let's get the trial on. That was six months in. I'm ready to go at this right now, Your Honor. And he denied it. He denied my motion for a speedy trial. That's all documented, time stamped. Oh, Danny boy. 
This is all fruit from a poisonous tree from the fucking top on down. It should be fucking kicked the fuck out. Gone. 20 months later? When it's a year-long statute of limitations to be prosecuted under a misdemeanor charge in West Virginia. Maybe you're running the obstruction and the fucking trespassing concurrently. You know, like you bastards like to do. You're saying they got a year for the obstruction and then the year for... That ain't the way it works. I've asked for my evidence, my GoPro, and my phone so that I can have my own fucking evidence to present at trial and you denied me that too. Even though Miss McCabe, as you saw earlier, didn't even find any evidence on my phone of any relevance. And I showed you that there was a video on my phone, which Miss McCabe said there was no evidence of. So the judge continued. And I'm done. I'm done with that. The judge continued. You got to say anything, Jack off Jack. Honors are one thing, but government accountability. That's another thing. I am showing how to make government accountable by being in contempt of fucking court. You left me no fucking choice, oh Danny boy. I saw how this shit was going. I saw that you were favoring them. Even before my trial started, I knew it. You left me no choice. I asked you for a transcript of the pretrial hearings. I asked you if you recorded on that. See this thing right here? Right? See this thing right here? That's a conference microphone, oh, Danny boy. This is a conference microphone, oh, Danny boy. So you are recording it, aren't you? But I can't have a transcript of a pretrial hearing. Oh, Danny boy. You're fucking up, oh, Danny boy. It ain't looking too good for you, Miss Bucket. Trooper Jones will probably still out there be shooting motherfuckers and uh, arresting motherfuckers. Nothing will happen to Trooper Jones. But Miss Bucket Pocket, you're a bar member. Hey, when you get done with, with what you've been studying and protecting yourself and protecting us and sharing with everybody else, can I just have a conversation with you? Uh, sure. Is it about my uh, love life? No, sorry. It's, it's not. Okay, good. Then we can. Whew. You almost had me there, Jack off Jack. Whew. I was going to, my wife wouldn't like it's that. Just, it's just about, you know, like who you are and what you believe you are. And then like what the government thinks you are. And then what religion thinks you are. And what everything else thinks you are. And how everybody else judges you. philosophical oh, conversation. Oh, a philosophical oh, conversation oh, about life. Well, I do have uh, right here in my back pocket, although he is really not in prison, but he's just in jail, like county jail. Well, let's we'll talk about uh, Chile. Chile? Well, if you're Chile. done talking. If you're done talking with about what you're done talking about, and then I'll talk about that. Okay, let's see if I have. Let's no, see your, if I, your stuff is awesome. I love it. I mean, good. You're, you're spanking government every day, trying to get them back to right. Maybe you believe in government and think that government can correct the human fucking error. But I really don't think that's going to happen. I really don't. Of course it's not going to. But you still got to fight when you're wrongly accused of a crime. We live in this system. We have to fucking swim in it. 
It's all a matter of how you want to fucking defend yourself. They're going to come at you and they're going to fucking arrest you eventually too. I'm not talking about you, Jack. I'm talking about everybody. And you're going to hire a fucking bar member at $3,000, $5,000. And they're going to plea deal out. It's all corrupt. They ain't going to help you. The government ain't going to help you. The legislature ain't going to help you. The feds ain't going to help you. But if you're falsely accused of a crime, do everything you can do to pr- to prove yourself innocent. Because that, Rogue Nation says it all the time. You got to prove yourself innocent. It ain't the other way around. Cops, for example, the show is a prime example of guilty before fucking proven uh, uh, innocent. Guilty before you are innocent. Because everybody that watches garbage like that, these bootlickers, these Republicans. The Republicans love the police. You just can't get through to them. The left are a bunch of fucking Marxists and they hide their intent. So where are we left? With people that are freedom loving like me, Jack Up Jack, Line One, John D. Nicola. To fend for ourselves because they got the Republicans and they got the Democrats and then they protect each other. Don't forget Randy. Randy, yeah. Don't forget Cage and Randy. So, but let me finish off with this. I want to reiterate and I want to review this real quick. Um, Tell um, me, how safe do you want to be just to fucking fuck off your freedom? Okay. Remember, remember, Miss McCabe, the digital, the babe McCabe. I was said be safe, and Daddy said, go venture. The babe McCabe. This is her forensic analysis of my phone, and it says, very little data was extracted from my phone upon review. It did not appear to contain any any that's a pretty definitive statement isn't it jack up jack well nothing that she could you know prosecute you with data of of evidentiary value the report was still included in the digital case report well let's look at let's take a look at this it's how big is your wiener i don't know okay. don't let, let's take let, let's take a looky at this Ms. McCabe, the forensics analysis extraordinary babe, the McCabe, the the babe McCabe. This is what is on my phone. All right, let's shut it off for now. Did you hear it? Did you hear it go bleep bleep? Miss Babe McCabe, the the babe McCabe. So, so you're looking for a jury trial, and you want this, you want the jury to fucking hear that click on your the phone. Thing, the, the thing is, is I can't bring Miss, I can't bring Miss McCabe up to testify about why she didn't include this as evidence. That's important to me. It shows where I'm standing. Well, that's your prerogative. That's my property. Why can't I have my phone back if there is no evidentiary value on there? How could you go to court and be judged without it? That's right. It's evidence. That's evidence that there was indeed footage on my phone because it went bleep bleep. Either I turned it on or I turned it off. If I was a stupid fucker who a bad, terrible auditor, then it went on. They sent you what they could find. They sent me what they didn't want me to fuck. They sent me what they wanted me to see when they did not send me everything which they should have. And then they sent it in a disarray. In a complete disarray amongst 15,000 files, which again is against the rules. You can't but, give me 15,000 files. That's overloading me. Somehow you know how to look at the size of files. That's what I did, remember? Stamps. 
and figure out what it is that just they didn't happenly just not find, but they could find what they presented for the discovery. Right? For their ignorance. See, they can be ignorant because maybe they don't know an iPhone, an Android. They're not of, uh, look, uh, the institution of justice is supposed to have very, very uh, intellectual IT type folks that this, know this, how this, to do these things. This is the thumb drive that, they, that Mr. They King- I also know that the everyday person does not know how to do that. This is the the, the forensics report that Miss. Most people look don't. At, know. Can, can can you guys hear me? Am I am I because Je, um can you hear me? Retarded. Can can you hear me? Hello, check check check. Check check check. Check, 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 check. See, my fucking phone. I'm talking, but I, nobody can hear me. Can everybody hear me? Hello, world. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm worrying because uh, Jack Off Jack keeps on talking over me, and I'm not sure if I'm being heard or not. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Yep, yeah, yep, yep, yep. I'm good. Okay. So. This is the report that I got from Miss McCabe. Now watch. This link works. Criminal digital report. Lab report. RMI tag magnet report. CT1 uh, celebrate report, right? So that's what is in here, right? So I go to the report. This is what I see. CTI, which is my GoPro or my phone, and RM1, which is my, and they say tagged. Remember, Miss McCabe? Uh, Miss McCabe, the babe. She said it's tagged. There's the tagged. It says tagged. So I open up that report. She said it's in the attachments folder. Here's the attachments folder. This is exactly what I saw. That's what I saw. That's all that they gave me. That's it. So I said, ah, there's a bin file here. There's a bin file here. And there's a bin file here. Now you extract that bin file and there's three videos that do not even pertain to the case. So what do you do? Well, I explored some more. So I went back and uh, I went back. And I went here. And this is what I found. A broken fucking link. Well, that ain't fucking cool. What the fuck does this mean? A broken fucking link. Right? When I go to the trooper's file, that fucking link works. And that takes you to the bin files. All 56 of them. Downloadable. So somebody fucked with this fucking link. For, for me not to be able to get it. Who fucked with this link? But it works for Trooper Jones on his evidence that he gave me a trial. Miss Mc, uh, Miss uh, Pocket 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 said at trial that all files were downloaded and given to me, but they weren't. See that? That's what I saw. Now, 
Um, they changed something in that in the code to that link because when I compared the HTML with my thumb drive that I got from Miss McCabe or Miss uh, Puckett and the thumb drive that was given to Trooper Jones, it worked and it matched perfectly with the one that I had, the HTML. The HTMLs were matched, mine and his, perfectly. I would click on his, it worked. I would click on mine, it didn't. So it had to be changed in the code. You couldn't take out a percentage mark or a number to change the HTML, which would be a broken link. I could simply replace that with whatever they didn't put in there, and it should work. I did everything in my power to get my link to work, which tells me it was changed in the code inside the video. It's, it's, it's fucked up. They've done everything in their power to omit and hide shit from me, including giving me my phone back that didn't have any evidentiary value to it. And I clearly showed that I was recording that day. But she gave me a video of me being at that fucking uh, child use detention center. But they didn't give me any video on my phone. I was there for four hours here videotaping. And you'd mean to tell me, Miss McCabe, the babe, that there was no other videos on my phone. Not any, which is very specific, evidentiary value. Give me my phone back so I can look at it. Shall you, please? Miss fucking pocket judge, can I have my fucking phone so I can review it myself and determine what's relevant for my evidence? Not that I'm using my evidence and my property against me, nitpicking bits and pieces. You people are pure fucking evil. You're liars, you're thieves, you're murderers, you're rapists, you're you're you're, you're chomos. You right. people are on the wrong fucking side. All right. All right. Hello. All right. Really, Go ahead, Jack. Come on, guy. Uh yeah, they're, they're probably misled. They know exactly what the fuck they're doing. No, man. Look, you are like a superhuman power person. And you know that. You know you're different from other folks. I'm sure that as soon as just like he was like maybe two years old, three years old, four years old, you, you realized that you was different other folks no no i'm i'm a normal human being you think, with, with, I'm, you, I'm, think I'm, you think what you do is normal uh, i'm a normal individual you think that, you're normal? is the government normal is the people normal are you normal <laughs> come on you're gonna have to get real on this one well i, I don't listen i i'm i've taken iq tests before now, I'm not talking I'm about average, man. That, that is not, I did not ask you that. That is just, I'm trick is it, I guess, a deposition. I didn't ask you that. I'm just saying, do you not know that what you do is different than what other people do? I mean, if you're a Marine and you do special training, do you not think that you are different than other people? I, I admit I, I was in third recon. I was in third recon battalion. I was in the elite of the elite in the Marine Corps. Do you not think that a person wouldn't realize uh, all the training that they do? And then, uh, of course, like if one of you die, it's like, oh, Marine died. And they like, fought for my rights. When we ain't had no, like, 
or here on the United States continent forever other than unless it's like taking a land from Indians. I mean, what do you think about that? Uh, of, of, of course, I know the tail, uh, the Trail of Tears. I know, I know the expansion into the West. I know the land leases and and uh, you know stake your ground. I, I know, I know all of it. Yeah, I know. I I know. Don't, don't, I, that, don't that just make us into if we know all of that? Like like, you're just a dude. I'm just a dude. Why do you think I'm here doing what I do so that we can, so that, so that we aren't the ones on the t- trail of tears? Maybe. We are on the trail of tears. I think. We're just not being herded in a group that everybody could fucking see. I think maybe we can help the Nazis to not go into to, to Nuremberg. That's what I think. All right. So, again, I have shown, again, again, I have shown um, another severe breach of every etiquette, every rule, every canon, every procedure. Yeah, These right. motherfuckers don't follow any of it, and they don't give a fuck because they're all protected under the veil of judicial immunity, qualified immunity, and every other kind of protection that they afford themselves. This is the law of the water. They're living underneath the fucking... They're, they're living underneath that, that, that clause of a fucking marine time. You, you make your own laws up. That's what they're doing. They're on land. Acting like they're on water. Well, I tell you, um, I, I am just here. When I found auditing, when I started watching auditing, I knew that it matched in a simplistic way, the most simple way you could think about it, filming. Because I remember the big camcorders, the VHS camcorders, remember? And everybody was getting in front of that camera back in the day. But we all have fucking cameras on our phones today, and everybody's like, ah, why? I don't understand. And that's how far we have gone devolved. Them them little cell phones did not advance us in any way. It's all TikTok, short videos, uh, short which makes a short short memory. A short we're going to go to the next best woman with big tits shaking her ass all over t- all over TikTok. We're looking for the the short clips that we could go from one to the next, one to the next, one to the next. I get wrapped up in it too. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? They are actually using the technology not only to spy on us, but to devolve our attention span, to devolve our cognizant reasoning, to devolve everything. That's why they can't make any new movies, anything. There is nothing new that these people fucking uh, come out with. Nothing. Now, you can listen to the music for from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, and the 90s. And it's all creative. There isn't a dance that these people dance that has not been danced before. There isn't a tale that is being told today that has not been told before. Bam. That's Genesis. That's Genesis. Um. So... Whenever I went out to film, as already been said, already be said. When I went out to start filming, I again was, I had a rosy, I had rose glasses on. 
I saw things in a good light that auditors and, and people that go out and film are, are there for a good reason, the proper reason. And I've found out that the majority of them, they don't know shit. They're idiots. They're morons. But we love them. Um, I only watch a few auditors. I only I, watch a few a few people that actually take care of fucking business in the end of the day. Not just get on there and film their interaction and pump it on YouTube and, and for clicks and views. I actually watch Rogue Nation. Um, um, I, I can't, I mean, Rogue Nation is, uh, is a really uh, a good source. I watch John Bryant. He ain't an auditor. I watch Grovera. He's a he's a lawyer. Guevara is incredible. If you have not watched the lawyer Guevara, watch him. I watch Salty Cracker. Do you watch Salty Cracker? I love Salty Cracker. <laughs> so I, I, I I've refrained. I, I've gotten rid of a lot of uh, <clears throat> subscriptions that I used to watch. Because I, I see them in a different light now, and it's it's really not that valuable. Because they don't follow through. Rogue Nation follows through, there, uh, and that's why I'm having a hard time. Uh, 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 Chili follows through, but he was a moron in that hearing. Hi. It's not he, over. It's not over with. But but what I understand, but the but the thing is, is there are times and places that like, you can tell them to fuck would off. You like your perspective from me. I mean, I'm not saying that this is the truth. I'm just saying what I saw. Would you would you appreciate that? Go ahead. So I seen Chili storm up in there. And I watched it on the Nevada cameras. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Yeah, they got a grant. You know what I'm talking about? No, explain. Okay, so Nevada. You know what Nevada is, right? Yeah, up there. So their courts had a grant. I don't know where it come from. I hadn't looked it up yet. I hadn't did all the study on that or nothing yet. I probably need to do that. But Chili is, uh, he got judged up in Nevada. So he just like motherfucking showed up uh, on what was uh, granted a grant to the uh, courts to do a transparency, which is where they, they, they basically do media uh, out on on all court cases, and so he was exposed at that point in time. You know what I'm saying? Did you see that? Hello. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So like, so. Actually, Nevada has a little thing there, which is what I'm, I'm saying is kind of cool. They're already exposing every court case right there inside of their stuff. But, um, yeah, I mean, so, you know, what if you're just like a numbers guy, this guy, or what now, and you're, 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 you're actually... Doing what you're doing. Yeah. Um, we live in a time of Illuminati. We live in a time of Luciferians. We live in a time of cults. And the biggest cult is the government. They're the biggest religion also. Um, I, I don't understand why these people 
believe in in the the authority of the, the of government when everywhere around them government has failed droge the border fucking look at the inflation look at all the 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 banking system everything is right, can, I, can i stop you for just a second look at every bloom that's blooming right now look at every tree that's falling Look at every tree that's growing. Look at everything that is. This is all going to happen. Government is just trying to constrict what's happening. Don't you get that? <laughs> that's it. Complete. It's going to happen. Government's well, going to make it. Hey. Hey, Tribe, the Tribe, how are you doing, man? Good to see you. Oh, really good to see you. Get over here, Tribe. Um, so, when it comes to my trial, my trial has already started. It's right in the middle of my trial. And I don't know if the judge thought he was being coy or sly or whatever. He should have never given me that continuance with, with the video evidence. Should have never done it. <clears throat> because he didn't think it would hurt. He thought that he could say, I gave him a fair trial. That way I wouldn't be able to appeal. But what I've done is I've turned it on its head. I've turned him on his head. Right, oh, Danny boy? He thought you were being all coy and sly. But you gave me all the evidence that I need to fucking say that you're a corrupt piece of shit. And the district attorney, and the trooper, and the CO Willis, and the bailiffs, and the fucking clerk of the courts, the cackling bitch. I, again, tomorrow will file my motion to dismiss all charges. And I'm going to follow that up a couple of days later with a, a motion to change venue out of county. And I'm going to follow up with that. Well, I'm going to, uh, tomorrow I'll follow, I'll put another motion in for the return of my property. It's been 20 months and there's no evidentiary value to you, to that holding my phone. Oh, Danny boy. I've already asked you multiple times, not only in writing, in a motion, to get my property back, but multiple times in motion verbata, ver, uh, verbally asked for my property back. But for some reason, you don't want me to have it, do you, oh, Danny boy? Because you know what it's going to do to Brit Brittany Fucket Puckett's case. It's going to expose her which means there might be some fucking ramifications. It also exposes Miss McCabe. Miss McCabe the babe. I just fall down the river and get clean. I know exactly where I am so far to fuck ahead of you motherfuckers. You don't even know what, you, don't, you can't even wipe your own ass at this point. You want me to do that for you too? No, thank you. It stinks too much. So again, I'm going to say, fuck you. Fuck you, D.A. Puckett. Fuck you, Trooper Jones. Fuck you, bailiffs. Fuck you, clerk of courts. I'm going to do this right, and I'm going to do it in a, in a civil way when I'm in the court, and I'm going to take you the fuck down. In a legitimate way, in a legal way. I'm not going to come down there and violently do anything. I only act this way so that you get a perception of me of being out of control. Look at me, look at me, look at me. He's crazy. 
But then whenever I come in there, I'm completely opposite of what I am here. Which now, fucks God you up every time. I know who God is. So let's get back to let's get back to Chile. Chile was a moron in that hearing. Was? Huh? Was? Chile was a moron acting was, up like that. Was or is? Well, no, I don't think he's a moron with what he does with the breakdown of the, the case law and when, the timeline that he is brilliant. That is brilliant because it, it, it puts it in a vid. It, 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 it puts it in a vid. That you may judge it by, but what my uh, question is 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 really what's happening is not really right now, but maybe it's a little bit later. <laughs> so it's, I, I'm, I'm thinking some things are changing. You know, folks are starting to what, understand what, what, what the actual law is. What and, Chili you know, does? Chili, she, uh, let, may I? Go ahead. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. This is your platform. I appreciate you. Um, Chili is actually, you know, educating folks. For those who actually want to be educated, they might go look it up. They might get his stuff, look at it. And then look at that and then read something and think, oh, yeah, oh, I got this right. And there's other folks that are waking it up and, uh, you know, learning, you know. If, how, okay, how, may I now? Yeah. May I now? I'll tell you this. I never said that Chili wasn't stupid overall. I said, I just got done saying that I think he's brilliant in what he has done. Yeah, he educated yeah. me on a lot of things. Oh, I'm not defending him. I'm saying, but may I? I am not defending him one bit. Hey, I ever but be if you're that fucking smart, which he is, you need you know you need to contain your you contain yourself in the courtroom because you're already behind the eight ball. So you go in there and you take what you have taught other people. And I expected to see him going in there. I didn't expect him to go in there and say, I'm a constitutional law scholar, like he does out there, which he isn't a educated. He is educated himself, which is beautiful. That's what I've done. I love it. I love him for what he's done. I think he's brilliant in his time frame of case law and, and, and lining it up to show the incarceration nation that he shows. Yeah, he got fucked over. Um, and they know that, too. So they were waiting for him to do that stuff. They were waiting. They were waiting and wait. They were waiting behind the bush to jump on him as soon as he acted up. And they fucking set him straight. Even though they did it, you know, they did it the way they do it. Hey, did you watch? Uh, uh, all I'm saying about Chile is that he wait, was wait, stupid wait. that day. Wait, wait a second. You all, everybody judges. Everybody thinks what they think about another. Did you see how I acted in court? I kept my fucking mouth shut. I know you do. You do you I had something important to say. Motherfucking Marine, you go. Marine. <laughs> I kept my mouth shut until I had something important to say. I didn't flip anybody off. I didn't thumb anybody up. I didn't say pig to anybody. That's stupid to do does yeah. chili know the court rules etiquette and procedure does he know the all of that apparently chili, not chili is california <clears throat> that's what it is it's california you know what it is if you're, you know, away, he, he if, you're from Virginia, if you're a marine if you're from west virginia 
If you're a man, See, you're I, a man. I don't know why you keep on bringing up Marine. I, I don't know why you I keep on. You've already said Marine a million times. Get off of it. We understand. They're still wearing it. So I'm so the fuck what? The, the Lord is Christ. I am defending the Constitution, the what, Bill of Rights, to be specific. What was you lean on for the First Amendment of religion? How can you say that? I was willing to fucking die, and you keep on. Oh, and I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people that have fucking yeah. died. Yeah. And then you keep on harping on fucking uh, marine, 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 marine. Sh sh just, just stop. Love we it. get your point of view. You just ain't accepting my point of view, and you're trying to change me. So stop, please. I get your point of view. That I'm still wearing. Look, I got the fucking Marine Corps flag behind me. And it drives you crazy. And that's all you're fucking seeing. No, no, I respect it. I just challenge it. It was a it was a, 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 a it was a it was a part of my life that got me aware of the Constitution and what it means. So but why should I throw that out the window? I don't wear marine underwear. I just really don't even wear underwear. Okay. So uh, we're talking chili, not me and me being a marine, and you switched it around, and that's not fair. That's not right. Just because I'm hammering on chili about giving a thumbs up and calling a cop a, a, cop a pig, you, you're you're turning it around and saying you're wearing the Marine Corps on your sleeve. Well, I didn't even bring that up at that point. We were talking about chili. Well, hey, listen here. Did you see that eclipse this morning? No, I was sleeping because I was up all night long preparing my fucking motions. That's right. You I was up all fucking night long reworking my motion and getting it fucking right. Well, you better figure out what jurisdiction them bitches have. Listen, Jack, I love you. I love everybody in my audience. And, and, and I really appreciate everybody's help. But <laughs> I'm not going to hold my tongue uh, to anybody. Um... And I know that you, you, you know, you don't take it personally, and I don't take it personally. But, you know, we get what you mean about the Marine Corps. I get what you mean. If I didn't get what you mean, then I wouldn't be doing the what I'm doing. Is the government, sir? The government is the government. The Marines okay. are from the government. Okay. This this isn't. This isn't about me as a Marine. This is about the judicial system. This isn't about the Marine Corps. This isn't really about no, the I government in whole. This show, this show that. is about the, my trial. And we started to discuss other people in trial, which is Chile, which is Rogue Nation. That's, that's the path I want to go down on this show right now. Now, I've already agreed that we could have another show about philosophical things about life and what freedom and government and, and all of that is. We could do that. I love to talk about that shit. But this show right here is specifically tailored to um, my trial and other people's trial and, you know, judges in general, because that's where we need to attack. These auditors are 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 going out and filming police only. And then they get put in, in court and they whine and they bitch about fucking being railroaded. Why aren't you fucking learning the uh, case law? Why aren't you learning rules, procedure, and etiquette so you can keep an eye on your law lawyer if you hire a lawyer? Why aren't you representing yourself on misdemeanor cases? Why aren't... See, we have the right to represent ourselves for a reason. Don't let them make you believe that you have a fool for a client. You only have a fool for a client if you don't educate yourself. That's what they really mean. 
Now, in felony cases, that's a different animal. You're spe- you're going to spend a lot of time in fucking jail on fel- fel- felony cases, so you really can't make a fucking error on your fucking paperwork, or they'll completely just, you know, disregard it, and they'll railroad your ass to ten years. But in misdemeanor cases, you're only going to get a fine, and you may, and if you have a clean record, they can't fucking put you in jail. That's that that's above and beyond the punishment. You know, so um, we have to focus on the judges because the judges are the ones that are letting these cops come in there and lie and distort. They're the ones that are enabling these DAs to do the things that they're doing. Uh, they're, I mean, again, the, the fucking judge that, sh- that, that held the gun up to that guy's head. Did you hear? Did you see the interview with the judge? Did you hear at the end the guy talking to the district attorney? And the district attorney said, I reviewed the videos, but I didn't see any crime. What? What? That guy's doing it right. And he ain't even an auditor. How can a guy that doesn't audit get it right? We have to do the judges. We have to stand out in front of the judges' offices. We've got to stand there with signs saying this motherfucker doesn't know the law and he's a tyrant. These judges are the ones that are doing it. Look at Trump, for example. Not saying that I anything about Trump or whatever. It's law fair. They're going to go after anybody they don't they disagree with, and they're going to use the law as a weapon. And they're going to do that to everybody, and they've done it to everybody. You can proclaim your First Amendment right to film and all of this. All they don't give a fuck. Because they aren't held accountable. So we need to start uh, videotaping these judges when they come to work and when they leave work. Because any other time they're in their houses, and I ain't going to know old fucking judge's house night or day and stand in front of his house. That's fucking stupid. I ain't going to go to the country club where they go to and, and fucking out there either because that's stupid. That could be considered stalking. But, but we need to get out in front of these fucking courthouses, in front of these magistrate offices, and hold signs and film them fuckers. I put my freedom on the line because I videotaped the fucking court proceeding without permission. We got to have balls to do that, all of us. We need to hold these judges accountable. We need to watch them judges a hell of a lot more than we do need the police to watch the police. It's the judges that are filling these prisons up with people, innocent people, over overcharging them and, and, and putting them in jail for a longer period of time than they deserve. Getting you into the system, getting you in a database, getting you on a bolo without any charges or criminal activity. Why is that man on a bolo? Oh, he's dangerous. There's a lot of motherfuckers out there that are a hell of a lot more dangerous than that dude holding a sign in the back of his truck. But do you see how these these judges act? If you do this, you're, if everybody goes out and fill, stands in front of a magistrate's office or a, a justice of the peace office or a, a courthouse and film these fuckers coming and going, you're going to see more and more of this kind of shit where they're going to fucking go berserk. And then, then you are showing them how out of control they are, just like they try to do to me or you. To, to get you all worked up, to show that you get out of control in that system of the court's system. Flip it around on them. That's where we're going to fucking uh, have impact. Go to your local court in a day and sit there and watch the cases. Report on the on them in their own courtroom. That motherfucking judge that held the gun up to the guy's head actually said that he was sitting in the back of my courtroom. 
Oh, the whore, he was sitting in the back. He had no reason to be there, he said. Well, Judge, we don't have to have a fucking reason. Are you a mind reader? We could go in there and fucking uh, sit there all fucking day long. It's a public fucking place. But this motherfucker is telling that dude that he doesn't have any business there. And then when he stepped up and said, I'd like to have a warrant, when that's supposed to be where you go to file charges on somebody, really, for tent. Get the fuck out of my courtroom or I'll hold you in contempt. You don't have any business here. And then the guy goes out and sits in his truck and the fucking judge says, he was sitting out there. I saw him sitting out there. I sent my fucking bailiff out there to tell him to move along. Who the fuck are you? This is what we need to capture on video more. Along with depositions, interviews, AI interviews. This is the important stuff, but they don't get the views because they're long. They aren't as impactful. They don't have fucking a half hour and it's done. And I get my satisfaction. You have to actually sit sit there and understand what the fuck is going on. I mean, you have court TV. People sit there and watch court TV all fucking day long. And are all involved in the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp thing. This is, this is I mean... <laughs> We need to get out there and fucking have these judges uh, held accountable via video. And that's what I did. I went into my own trial and I was in contempt. And I admit it. So come and get me, judge. And you're going you're gonna to get me when I come back down there for the res resumption of my trial. And you may put me in jail because you can, not because it's the law. But I get to have a fucking jury trial for that too, Judge. Uh, yes, I do. You can't put me in jail without me going to in front of a jury. But we don't have jury trials down in McDowell County, do we? Because you don't have the population. That's the excuse. Sorry, we can't give you a constitutional right because we don't have the population. What the fuck kind of excuse that is? Maybe you should change your fucking ways then, Judge. Maybe you shouldn't hold so many fucking trials. Maybe you shouldn't put so many innocent people on trial. Maybe you should drop a case after 20 months, right? You stupid fucker. But no, it's your industry. It's your, you're making the widget. And you're getting money, a profit, a pure profit. And you don't even make anything but misery. Government does not make a product for sale and profit. They steal it off of you in many forms. And guess who is the banker? The judges. Because they impose the fines and or prison terms. They're tax collectors acting as judges. This is fucked up and shit. We need to get out there and film the judges and the magistrates and catch their dirty deeds. That's what I'm doing. I'm a full, full-fledged auditor from the beginning until the end. I audit them all. And I take them to task. And I have ripped them all apart. Every one of these motherfuckers in three fucking criminal cases, I have ripped the fuck apart. And they don't know how to react. How can this motherfucker slop this motherfucking uneducated dickhead fucking rip us like this? Because I know your tactics. I know what you do. I can precursor you. I am five to ten steps ahead of you fuckers. Plus, I like to throw a motion and then disappear. And they think that People like me will be out there every single fucking day doing it and getting in trouble so that then they can revoke your bond and put you in jail. But I disappear. 
And they're like, where the fuck did he go? He has a loud mouth. He's going to get in trouble again. He's going to get arrested again. That's what they're hoping for. That's why I'm in the underground. They can't fucking find me. They don't know where I'm at. They want to know where I'm at. Why isn't he out? Where is he? I don't need to audit. I don't need to get out there and film. I'm I, I, I'm taking one case at a time or two, uh, which I was for a little while, two cases at the same time, which is very difficult. Very fucking difficult. You got to play the game right. And it's a game of life and death. The ultimate chess game. Mm-hmm. And they got an extra queen to fucking run all over the fucking table, all over the board. They got two queens and you got, you know, you're probably lacking a few, maybe a bishop or a a knight, maybe a castle. They take that away from you, like my iPhone. There goes my castle. Now I can't go straight side to side anymore. Fortunately, they didn't take my fucking rook. I can still do the L. Wherever I want to on the board, skip over fucking pawns and shit. If you understand the correlation between chess and the real game of chess. You need to put your life on the line for the real fucking reason. And that ain't doing cops. That's doing the judges. That's filming the judges. Uh, being up in the judge's business, trying to fucking figure out what he's done in his past. What his behavior has been or her. We need to be at the district attorney's office with films and camera. Film them fuckers in and out, coming out in and out of the courthouse and see how they fucking like it and how they act. Forget about the cops. The uh, cops are in your head. You're talking about judging the judge. Judging the judge. The cops are only a spearhead for government. They're there to protect government. They're there to serve government. They're masters. I uh, judge the person. Your masters are the fucking district attorney and the and the judge. How can you judge a person? Who gives you authority to judge a person? I was a judge. How did I get that authority? I mean, who gave that shit to me? How could I just judge you? I mean, you're like a fat ass piece of shit. Yeah, I'm looking at you, and you got this goddamn piece of shit government flag, which ain't nothing about my God. Now, Jack, Mr. Jack, are you referring to my, my Marine Corps flag again? That looks like a government bullshit kind of shit. Jack off, Jack. I told you. There you go again. What the fuck's the matter with you? Well, Did I say anything about my Marine Corps flag? What on, the man. fuck was I talking about? I wasn't what? talking about that. I was talking about judges. And there you go again. Well, I just had to. About, Shut know. the fuck up about my fucking flag! I don't know. I'm gonna have to burn that thing. It's not the American flag. Listen, I have audited from. And it ain't about the flag. It's about uh, it's about auditing the judge. It's about auditing the DA. It's about representing yourself. I'm I'm three and O or two and O in criminal cases. I'm three and four in civil cases. We need to do it right, not the way Chelly did it. You know, how to, you got to know, uh, Rogue Nation. Good to see you. You have to know where you're going to be judged. You got to know court procedure, court etiquette, case law, canons. It's all about jurisdiction. Just like you said, I judged you by your little flag. Where is jurisdiction? 
That's what we're going to have to stick to. Okay, there you go with the flag again. You know, no, I'm it. telling you, I'm using that as an example. I get it. We all get it. Jack off, Jack. Stop focusing. You want me to rip it down right now? Would that help you? If you have to whip me, then whip me. Would it help you in, ta in taking the focus off of my Marine Corps flag and stop? I mean, every other turn, you're going back to the flag. I'm, I'm, I'm trying good. to stick to my case and what I have discovered. Uh, it's 20 months in to my case. Misdemeanor charge in West Virginia is one year. Okay? I'm talking about Miss McCabe from the forensics lab at the West Virginia State Police saying there is no evidence on my iPhone. When I just got done showing you that there is evidence on my iPhone because I have video from my GoPro that shows me turning my camera on and off. That's why they're not giving me my iPhone back. Okay, thank you. I feel retarded. Thank you. So, please, stick to what we are discussing. Stop being mesmerized by things that don't matter right now. We all understand that the government is completely corrupt. Okay. It's fucking retarded. Of course it is. So let's stick to the task at hand. I'm shut up. No, no, you don't have to shut up. It's just you, you let's stick to the point. No, uh, why my show is the way it is right I'm now. Gonna up, I'm gonna shut up for right now, but then okay, I'm gonna show you reiterate my motion that I'm filing tomorrow. Now, I've all, already filed one motion to dismiss, and this motion is after 20 months. I humbly ask this court to dismiss all charges. Defense charges violation of his constitutional rights and judicial misconduct according to the rules, procedures, etiquette, and judicial canons. See document 1 to 26, PowerPoint document 1 to 24, and thumb drive. Okay? Move down. I claim a First Amendment violation of the United States Constitution, freedom of speech, and freedom of press. A Fourth Amendment violation of the United States Constitution, warrantless arrest, search, seizure of the defendant's pro and his property. Sixth Amendment violation of the United States Constitution is right to a speedy trial and the denial of a trial by jury. An Eighth Amendment violation of the United States Constitution, cruel and unusual punishment via undue length of trial. Fourteenth Amendment Violation of the United States Constitution, due process and malicious prosecution amongst some of the things. This is not all because, again, I have a 1 to 26 page attachment and a PowerPoint presentation, 1 to 24, a comparison between two thumb drives of what I was given in discovery that differ. One the prosecutor gave me and one the fucking, uh, the, um, Trooper Jones gave me at trial. Okay. DA Puckett's unnecessary delay tactics and frivolous motions, i.e. drone footage continuance. There was no drone footage, and she asked for a continuance. Or a violation of the 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution. Due process and malicious prosecution. The prosecution has exculpatory evidence given in discovery, 2021, for circuit, Court, Wingate versus Fulford, beautiful case. Maps and deed to the property in question. Due to DA Puckett's delaying tactics and unethical behavior, i.e., the door ajar in the hearing room, in the room that was sequestered, uh, we were sequestered in, she left the door open so everybody in the courtroom could hear. The defense. The defendant has been stripped of many of his rights. See attached documents, page 1 to 26, PowerPoint document, page 1 to 24, and a thumb drive of video evidence. The defendant never received the entirety of his GoPro videos of all interactions with FCI to McDowell guards on the day in question. Only the videos DA Puckett was using on the day of trial. The defendant has the right to view the entirety of these GoPro 
and iPhone videos to bring into full context the totality of circumstances on that day. Who said that? Was that you? That's me in my motion. Pay attention, yeah, Jack. If nobody ever said that, and you need to protect your own self and become part of the law. Pay attention, Jack. The defendant knows for a fact that his iPhone started recording because of the sound made when activating video recording from his iPhone that was captured on his GoPro video recording on the day in question. All, if not most, of his interaction with FCI McDowell personnel, in fact, were recorded on his iPhone. See GoPro video on the attached thumb drive provided. Miss McCabe, in her West Virginia State Police Crime Lab report, falsely claims there is no relevant recording on the iPhone of FCI McDowell on the day of my arrest. Tampering and or omitting evidence by Miss McCabe, which is the analysis at the state trooper uh, lab, and DA, and DA Brittany Puckett is a fraud on this court. She attached documents, 1 to 26, PowerPoint a document, page 1 to 24, and attached thumb drive with the video evidence on it. FCI McDowell, uh, CO Looney, bailiffs, court clerk, Magistrate Mitchell are all party to in-trial ex parte communication. The magist Magistrate Mitchell is not in control of his courtroom, knowingly permitting unethical practices by Trooper Jones, DA Brittany Puckett, FCI CO Looney, bailiffs, and court clerk, all government actors in brackets, emphasis added, which tells you to pay the fuck attention to what I just said legally to violate the defendant's right to have a speedy, impartial, and fair trial. This judicial act defrauded the defendant to a speedy, fair, and an impartial trial. I claim all evidence and witnesses are now fruit from a poisonous tree. See attached video evidence and attached timeline document, page 126. The statute of limitations for prosecuting misdemeanor charges in West Virginia is 12 months from the date of arrest. West Virginia Code 6111.9. Through no fault of the defense, this trial is now at 20 months and counting. This is an excessive amount of time to prosecute such simple charges as obstructing and trespassing. So, yeah, you don't call them by their own fucking law. If anybody would like to be on the stream yard, just go ahead. Cajun Randy, come on, and, bro. Uh, just go ahead and pop your name. Uh, click that and pop up here so I can click you in. Um, Oath Fakers, good to see you. Okay, so I said facts, right? Let me get back to uh, where I was before, um, because I uh, there are people in here now that uh, that weren't here before. So let me see where it's at. Oh, the tribes here. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, let me iPhone. Let me look it up. iPhone off. Now, Miss McCabe, in her forensic analysis of my phone, said that there was no evidence on my phone that I was there that day when I was there for four hours. Right? iPhone off. Ah, oh, shit. Let me get back. I'm sorry. I, I shut everything out, folks. I turned everything off because I thought I was done with the, that. So, iPhone off. Now, I'm going to file these motions, the, the, this motion to dismiss tomorrow, and then two days from now, I'm going to file a motion to change venue. I'm also going to file a motion to get my property returned again. 
Now, this video right here. All right, let's shut it off for now. Miss, oh, let me get it up here. Miss McCabe, the forensic analysis extraordinaire, McCabe the babe, said that there was no evidence on my iPhone right here of the day I was standing out there. Now, listen, real close. All right, let's shut it off for now. Did you hear it? Did everybody hear it? It said, so let's shut it off for now. And it went bleep, bleep. So, Miss McCabe, can I ask you a question? Was I turning it on or turning it off? Because it went bleep, bleep. You extracted a clone of my iPhone. And you plainly said that there was no evidence on my phone. I want my phone back, Judge, please. Uh, Danny, oh, Danny boy, I want my phone back if there's no evidentiary, here, uh, evidentiary facts on there. And I've asked for that phone for two fucking years. And Rogue Nation knows what I'm talking about when it comes to asking for fucking property back. But I think that's a felony case, right, Rogue? So they could keep your shit for however long the trial goes on, which they have. I want my phone back, oh, Danny boy, magistrate. So the change of venue motion will be identical to my dismissal motion. That way I don't have to go through the whole entire rewriting of everything. I made it compatible for multiple motions to be heard at multiple times. And you file the motion to dismiss first so that they don't confuse what they read first. Because they'll do that. You give them too many motions at the same time, they get confused and shit. And they'll only choose the motion to see first, just like when they arrested me. He arrested me for obstruction first, uh, failure to ID. And then he arrested me for uh, trespassing after his investigation. I don't know. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second, underground. Uh, Tug, that did you just meet me or did you meet yourself? I think you meet yourself. You, you I did to, meet myself. Go ahead. Tried to meet me. Listen, that fucker. He know where he was standing, what jurisdiction he was in. He's a dumb shit. A fucking dumbass. Okay. Also, living off of a check of a government, a piece of shit that you and I get raped from what we create, which is taxes. Okay. So, Rogue Nation, I know, I know that you um, haven't seen my illicitly gotten trial video. So I'm going to show it to you. Attorney's office. Thank you, Judge. Okay. So what I'm going to do, Rogue, is I'm going to show this again for you, and hopefully, um, you'll be like, "Wow." I mean, that's kind of fucked up. But here we go. I'm going to show it. I'm not going to show the whole thing. I'm just going to show you the relevant parts. Now. We said your name for the record. Charles Dressel. Okay, and um, where are you employed at? Yes. And what is your name for the FBI McDowell? I am a GS-11 Okay. And Security Police Okay. Okay. And um, how long have you been with FBI McDowell? 13 years. 
prior to that, were you with any other um, uh, correctional facility? I spent five years at Okay. Uh, okay. And um, so you've been at uh, FBI McDowell for 11 years? 13. 13 years, I'm sorry. Okay. And what are some of your other activities? Uh, anything that the Bronx Security Administration. I handle rosters, I handle audits, I handle FBI referrals, I handle the inmates' movements, um, inside and outside the institution. Okay. When this happened tonight, I've even watched our ops, and uh, that means I'm basically the ward. Okay, that's what I was going to ask you. So, what? So, you're the evening watch ops? I was at this point. Okay. And was this on about August the 6th of 2022? Can you tell me how um, you became involved in this case? Um, our mobile patrol, which circles the institution and also responsible for outside grounds, contacted me and said there was an odd car at the entry of our property. Okay. Did they describe the car or can you remember? Um, not that time. Okay, go ahead. Uh, he said that he had tried to talk to the <coughs> person in that car and then was a little riled up, so okay. if I could come out there, okay, which I did. Okay, and um, at that point, did you make contact with anyone? Not that point. Okay, at what point did you make um, contact with the defendant, Mr. Ballum? Um, after I left and walked out of the main institution, uh -huh. um, I actually got in the boat patrol car with the officer and drove down to where Mr. Ballum was. Okay, um, I stepped out. And that's when I made contact. All right. So tell me what happened when you got out of the vehicle. Um, I asked him how was he doing. Uh huh. Uh, he made a comment about my backup. That was you at the time. Okay. Um, then I said, asked him please watch the film institution. Okay. Now at this point, was it what was he filming, or do you know? He had one camera across the road on our property facing our rear gate in our industries or our what we call recycling now. Okay. And he was in front of his car with a GoPro filming it straight at the institution up our road towards the main facility. Okay. Did he advise why he was filming or anything like that? He said he wasn't answering it. Okay. He said he had his rights to film everything. Yeah. All right. When, how was he, how was his behavior and demeanor? Uh, it got really aggressive really quick. Okay. And um, tell me what was some of the things that was going on? Um, I kept asking him not to film. I told him to film everything. He called me some derogatory names and told me that he knew more than me. Um, that I needed to get my ASS back into the prison and worry about the inmates. Okay. Um, I told Mr. Bowen that you know I was responsible for security and he was uh, demeaning that security at that time. Okay. Um, he said Google Maps could show picture of the prison. Okay. Which he is correct, but it does not show the cars going in and out of the prison. It does not show what times we leave. Yes, uh, and that allows inmates' families to see license plates, cars, what we drive, when we drive, how we drive. Um, it also shows our security procedures as far as our mobile patrol, inmates at the camp that has no defense. So he's on our area with inmates that, you know, he could just drop them off to them. He could show them their families if he's there. This is a severe security breach. Yes. Yeah, Stop leaving the witness, Ted. Now, at any point, has Mr. Ballin ever been on any um, inmates list of visit that you're aware of? Was this the first and only interaction that you've had with Mr. Ballin? Okay. About how long uh, was this interaction before you felt it necessary to uh, call, I guess, would you call 911? Yeah, probably okay. about 10, 15 minutes. Ago. Okay. Uh, and, um, oh, where's the victim? So you, you called 911, and then did, did anyone show up in response? Uh, yes. Oh, victim. And at that point, uh, once Trooper James arrived, did did you allow the state police to take over and investigate? Yes, I, I didn't know you had, Did you have any further um, dealings with Mr. Ballin at that time? All right. Yeah. I'm going to show you. Yeah. 
this is a this is a photo I think that Mr. Ballin has provided me. Me? Where's the victim? This is the pic that I that she's using of my evidence. You still hear me? Oh. Any day, sweetheart. Let me fast forward because she takes a while. She and that's what they the picture. State's Exhibit 1. State Exhibit 1. Um, can you describe what this is a photograph of, if you, if you know? Uh, yes, ma'am, this is our entryway coming through the entry of our bridge. Okay. Um, point for the manager, what side of the road the prison is on? Side right here. Okay. And is, is the prison viewable? Can you see the prison from that image? Yes. Okay. Now, on the opposite side of the road, can you tell me um, what... Who owns the other side of the road? That would be State Property. Say what you mean. All right. All right. Now, um, can you tell me from that photograph where Mr. Bowen was when you first made contact with him? He was down in the corner on our property. Okay. Because everything on this side is our property. So he was down on the corner and he actually had his one of his cameras set up right on our property okay. I, what i will do i will have you put a, just put the scar where he was the first time that he made it. okay and then you go about right here okay okay so the car is where his final location was at um, during your interaction, did you tell Mr. Ballin that he was on federal property? Many times. Did you ask him to leave? Many times. And did he refuse to leave? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Was Mr. Ballin on federal property? And at that point is when you decided you needed to call for, for some assistance. All right. Um, so, Tina Lee, is there anything else that um, you would like to tell about your interaction with me today? Your Honor, I'm going to move into move to admit into evidence place exhibit one. Is it true that you are a subservient of a government? That well, yeah, I'm going to show you a video to, and I will mark it as well as place exhibit two. Of, um, they claim over and don't know their own property. Yeah. Okay, let me let me finish this video, uh, uh, Jack off Jack. The footage that has been downloaded from uh, Mr. Ballin's um, GoPro. Can you She's about ready to show my GoPro video, which I never received in Discovery. Can you take a look at this video? I object. I never received my GoPro video or video off of my camera. I reviewed all of the data from the state police barracks or the state police analytics lab, and I received no video from my camera nor my GoPro at all in discovery. Uh, Your Honor, he's been provided a flash drive with all that information on it. it was mailed out to him. That is incorrect, Your Honor. I searched that uh, thumb drive in and out through multiple applications to find any MP4, any AVI files, any video files, AF, ASF. I, I went through the whole entire hard drive, the thumb drive, and there was no videos except for two videos that did not apply to this case. Thank you, ass bitch. Oh, 
Yeah. All right. The judge said. The magistrate. The, the magistrate said, "Is there any way that you could show him the video before you play it and enter it into evidence?" And Miss Bucket Bucket says, "Yes, we can show him the video." Okay, we can show him the video, and here we go. Why is Trooper Jones? Why is true? Oh, why is Trooper Jones going into that room? Is he the assistant counselor? Is he the assistant prosecutor? Why? Or the videos on his West Virginia State laptop. Miss Bucket Pocket, why don't you have your own evidence to bring to trial? Miss Bucket Pocket, why are you depending on this motherfucker? Isn't he a witness? Isn't he going to be your expert witness? So why is he being allowed to be sequestered in a room with me and you? I am the my own counsel. The court must treat me as a counsel, as a, uh, a lawyer first, and a defendant second. Why is he allowed in that room? Here we go. When the cat is out of the house, the mice love to play. Wait for it, Rogue Nation. Wait for it. You know, bring it up Lieutenant Looney, why are you pointing to the room and saying this is the way he is? Lieutenant Looney, why are you talking to the judge while both councils are out of the room? That's called ex parte communication. Judge, why are you allowing this man to be even on the stand right now? I am mere 10 feet because I counted the fucking ceiling tile away from that room. I am roughly 50, about 12 feet away from the witness that's on the stand and the judge and Trooper Jones is in the room. So all three of you motherfuckers and the judge is the jury too because he denied me a jury trial. So here we go. Yes, it's on my channel, Rogue Nation. Thanks for coming, man. I really appreciate it. You can hear me. Look at the door opening. It's cracked open. Why is Looney pointing to the door? <laughs> yes, Rogue Nation, I forgot to tell you that, yes, 
they continued the trial right in the middle because I needed to review the videos. They gave me the videos. The judge continued the trial app and it's 20 months in. So the judge continued and now I'm preparing to blow them out of the fucking water again. Thanks for coming, Rogue Nation. And we've seen the rest of it. I just wanted to get that in for the people that didn't see uh, how they were acting. And it gets worse. It gets worse. Um, my This video is on my channel so that you could view it at your leisure. I'd appreciate it if you'd watch it. That's all I ask. Um... So thank you very much. And I'm about ready to end this show. Jack off Jack, you got anything? And it better not be about my fucking flag. Can fly every flag you want to. But you know that my creation that created me, that I created other things that created all things. This is what God is. No matter what government you form to try to make something better than another to get a cream of the crop, doesn't matter. We are already before your cream of the crop. I respect you to be a Marine. You can't live on earth as on water, under water, on earth, on this, on that, and then take a command from some bitch ass government. Okay. Can I also fill you in on another reason why I fly this flag? behind me think about them marines that are not think about them marines that are not awoke yet or have woken yet think about them marines that see that marine corps flag and rep and and what it rep represents which is brotherhood okay think about that marine that is ignorant of the facts and he may take my point of view a little bit more serious and open up his ears a little bit more. Maybe it might include more Marines to come in to the fold and defend their constitutional rights in the way I and you and everybody else in my chat is doing. Does that make sense? Well, I have to question you at this point. Do you recognize the Constitution? Whereas I recognize God, where I come from. But, you, okay, okay, but hold on. You're, okay. a paper, you're a paper on a piece of okay. shit. We have got to live in the realm that we are in. We, can, we have got to live in the realm that we are in. You could say God all fucking day long, but that doesn't mean that God's going to come down here with his hands and uh, help us. Okay. We have got to break through. We have Marines. That's all we have Marines. Okay. We have got... God, God, God just looked at this and said, hey, I don't know. They're figuring the shit out, boys. Well, I'm going to tell you this, Jack. I don't believe in God. Really? Then what? Really? Then what? No. Uh, it's, it's not about it. Man. What I'm saying. You I know, don't know. Where did you, what created you? My mother's vagina. Okay. And, where my daddy, that, where and, my daddy, and my daddy's sperm. Where did that come from? They, from their mama's vagina and their daddy's sperm. So what law did they live under? Well, they lived under the the just like we're living under. No, it's a different law. It's always changing. I was born and raised Catholic, man. 
I went to CCD wow. classes. Wow. I've been baptized in the Catholic wow. Church. You I've know, read the fucking Bible. I've read the Quran. Did someone read I've read, you? I've, did you get I've read the Torah. Did they stick it in your ass? Uh, did you hear what I just said? Oh, you're, you're Catholic? I said I was born and raised Catholic. I've read the Bible. I've read the Quran. I've read the Torah. I understand. I understand. Believe me. I, but we live. Not, we live in uh, in on Earth, not in heaven, right now. The Pentua. Okay. You, you can say all day long that. Um, uh, let let God handle it. Jesus said, you know, give unto Caesar what right. is Caesar's. Let me ask you something. Do you think that the Holy Spirit is just like you and me and everybody else is like talking? I don't believe in ghosts either. No Holy Ghost? That's what the Catholics say, Holy Ghost, not Spirit. So you're not Holy Ghost, you're not Catholic. I, I've never seen a ghost yet. Well, how can you be like a like like your whole your whole thing is like showing of a government uh, emblem icon? Can can I say this too? I believe in the utility of a god, and the utility in a god is that God gave us these rights. And that man cannot touch it. So, yeah, I believe in God. Oh, yeah, sure. I'd rather have God fucking take the rights away from me than the government. Okay? Because God is an untouchable being, which means no man can touch my rights. I'll believe in that. Okay. I believe in God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, uh, but, but you're signed up to like a fucking Marine. I just got done explaining another reason why I fly that flag is to to encourage so that Marines may believe may may believe me more because I'm a brother and open up their fucking ears. What can it hurt? Jack off Jack. It just it just it just uh, it, 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 it's just ingrained in you to be focused on that flag, doesn't it? Why? Well, you know, I did, uh, I mean, I didn't sign up or nothing. But, like, when I went to government school, they taught me, you know, how to, how to, like, fucking, you know, sign up to the flag. The me. government, the government schools taught you to get up when the bell rings and move to the next room. That is what is called indoctrination. That is what is called following a fucking bell, meaning that you will follow anything else. If you're following a bell ring to go to the next classroom without a human being telling you to get up and move, you're being brainwashed. I think they actually, you know, they got these scientists that actually teach, like, like mice, how to <laughs> move, how to move from one room to the next. <laughs> You're crazy, dude. You're <laughs> fucking crazy, man. I don't even know how I'm talking to you right now. I didn't get it. I shouldn't even be talking to you right now. Why? I mean. I'm know. being too hard on you? No, I'm saying I live this long. I've, I've, I've seen so much different places of media than places. You know, I, I, I'm i old. I have seen many places of things happen. I'm old, too. Look at me. I'm 58 years old. I've seen a hell of a lot too. So has uh, Jay Curvet and Nat and yeah, Dave so Randy and Rogue Nation and all of the people you know, in the tribe 
and 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 oath breakers and 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 the, you what, know what you are understanding is is that these these new people that don't know understanding about any of what's already happened that's why i do what i do and that's why i fly that flag for another reason is so that people will see that i'm a marine once a marine you're always a marine i understand yeah, what you're gonna... the fuck is that shit about i don't know it i was never a marine i was just gonna fucking I say that you're gonna object to that too marine. tell okay. me please sir what it's a mean? brotherhood that you trust the individual what next to you. Girls? What about the women? D Listen, I've never met a fucking woman oh, wait, with her soul. Care of them. You know, if you're a Marine, then you'll just take care of them old girls, right? I took her care of them the whole no, time I was there. What is, you know, what you was told to do? As Listen. a Marine, what are you supposed to do, sir? Defend the fucking Constitution. Sir, I'm going to disposition you right now. This is your disposition. I don't. I. I, I, I think that you're arguing something. I think that you're. I think that you're arguing something that is completely. No, I'm not arguing. I'm asking. I'm saying argue meaning de debate, banter, back and forth. That's also an argument. Not that it has to be uh, mean uh, or evil. A Marine was born and then died and is always the same thing and could give speak and spoke to. Would it not speak? There I am asking. I am honoring my Oath, not to the Marine Corps, not to the government, not to any fucking president. I gave an oath to defend the Constitution, all Marines. And everybody clamors out there. And everybody asks the cops, do you honor your oath? I'm honoring my oath, and I'm showing it by flying that flag. And if you have a problem with it, that's your problem. I can't explain it any more to you, and you're just going to continue to be butt hurt by it, and you might need some ointment for that. Because you expose more dirty cops, more dirty representatives, representatives of the government. We are not representative of. Uh, am I a representative of the government right now? Even though I'm maybe, claiming I'm a marine. Maybe, maybe what's happening right here is that. You're challenging the government, and you're just having to cover your own ass. Just you're, you're, you're fighting the government, which you just signed up to do part of. You know, I signed up. Claim yourself to I, be, You claim yourself to be what most people consider like even a veteran means somebody fighting for them, right? And then they don't even look at it and say, hey, where, where did they fight for that bullshit? Somewhere else? Some other country? Why did they come here? We, we, we really don't want that shit here. <laughs> you know? Okay. okay. We're, we're getting we're getting so far afield. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait. We got shitheads that will sign up for that within sign of our country to the government. Do you see where I say this to you, sir? I don't mean to be mean at all. I just You're being mean. You're being ridiculous. Me, sir. Look. And you don't call me sir because I'm enlisted. Yeah, you work for I'm a living. normal slop. You work for a living. I get it. I'm a normal man. Listen. Listen. We are not trying to hurt our next to ourselves personally. We're trying to help ourselves and, and get back over to that. Now these you, governments, you, you they, are you are too involved in symbolism. When I'm trying to make a point about 
why I do what I do and you just ain't getting it. You just are not, you are just not understanding that there are people out there that don't know anything. And when they see something familiar like that and, and the way we are, we are bonded, they may come to my side, our side. They may not fucking lick the boot anymore. Like I don't. You understand? It's a, it's, a, it's a psychological thing that will incorporate others that are Marines, that don't understand, that, that, that feel comfort in what I'm saying because I am a Marine, and a Marine will always believe another Marine. They will always take more stock in what a Marine says than anybody else. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get people onto our side that are bootlickers. What's the harm in that? What What is the definition of a Marine? Now see, I don't even want to fucking answer that because that's a stupid fucking question. Again, you're, you're, you're doing this thing and, and it ain't fucking right. I just got done telling you something very valuable, something very important, something that you want to make change. These are the guys that you want to fucking change. You're not a Marine. I am a Marine. Then define it. I don't need to define shit. You know what a fucking Marine is. You're, you're going to take the Fifth Amendment. I'm not going to fall into that bullshit, man. Come on. Stop. Just stop. You, you, you're sounding like a chick here. Oh, baby. You, you fucking give an answer and then, and then the chick. Sir. I'm not going to have to explain anything else. So don't, don't do that to me, brother. Don't do that to me. I've already told you exactly what I am as a Marine and what Marines think. There's no well, more explanation for it. We do have new listeners here that would love to kind of understand what it is. The tribe remembered that video. When Tugger walked in on someone's audit, that was my audit. That was early in the morning. That was the exercise. The Wayne man, you know, that's the one I shot. I went up to that guy, that cop, young cop, bought his, his blue line flag. Jack, did you see that video? I seen a lot of videos. Did you see my video when I ripped that fucking Marine for wearing that thin blue line flag? I hadn't. Could you post that? I will. He said he found out that the, the rookie was a Marine. Tugga schooled him on the flag code in his oath and demanded a removal of that flag. Listen, Tugga. You, you... This is my problem with you, is you are government. You say, how can you say I'm government? See, the, that, again, that woman. Why you are take, you changing my words? Who are you, you to change take, what I said? Didn't you fucking hear me? Am I not speaking plain enough for you? Do you know who God, God is? All right, I'll find it. God Way before government ever come. You think that man wants to govern man? God already tried to. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Let me see if I can find it. There'll be, there'll be no government. Fact yeah, I go way back. Love is supposed to govern everything. 
government is not supposed to govern everything. Love is supposed to govern. And this is where, you know, that's going, not going to work. Okay. I got, I got to go onto my hard drive and find that. Yeah, you are good. It's not one. on my channel. Let me, let me go to my hard drive and I'll Drop find it. Out there, sir. Drop it out there. Love governs. I don't even know what I called it now. I, I just don't know what it was called. Uh, it was love governs. That's the government. Um, love is the government. It's not the government. Look. Um, it's not on my YouTube channel. I, I don't know. Uh, I have to find it on my hard drive. Um, Jack, I don't mean to be hard on you, brother, but you're repetitive and it's boorish. Okay. You're too focused on stupid shit about government, go that flag representing government and that I'm government. I've never fucking said that one minute. Okay, well, you, I, and, and you're putting words in my mouth, and that's I, not fair. And that's no, not that's not correct. You're actually taking image of a leaf of something else that that was never of you. Now you signed up to that thing, and now you believe that thing. It, I mean, you signed up to something. You believe that. You know. You know, Jack, I, I believed one thing at one time. Now I believe another thing. And you're trying to hold me to what I used to believe in. And that's not fair either, man. Well, it's, just, it's a government. If if any of us believe in a government, then how can we believe in, like, you and me and our, 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 our own personal self. How, how could, if, if we allow ourselves to be of government, how can we be, like, I can have a relationship with you, but yet I can't because there's some government between us. Well, I would have to destroy that, break the, rent the tent, like Jesus did, you know, and so I can speak right to you, sir. Well, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find right. my dad. Um, well, you um, like to speak right to me? I'm working on it. I'm almost there. I'm trying to find this dad. Um, this is not there. Yeah, I'm here. I suppose that the government who really likes to know things about things they don't know about. I fear that the government should live and take care of the people that pays the taxes for the government. And so they could help them even more to take care of their own selves. They're really good people. Good folks. I just can't find that video, man. Can't I don't know what I did with it. Can't I have no idea. Yeah. Hiroshima. You can't find that video? No, I'm trying to find my... Uh... Find Hiroshima? Can you find Hiroshima, sir? You don't think I will fuck with government to the end of my who I am? You're fucked up if you don't think I won't. I am unending. I'm unending. You can't unend me. You can't. Look. You people need to love each other. 
to stop hating each other and killing these motherfuckers. You fucker motherfuckers is always killing each other for your cultures. You, you accept this, you don't accept that, you kill this one, you kill that one, because it's not of your culture. This is bullshit. Uh, it's done. You're full of shit. Have fun. You know. Listen. Um, the thing is. The thing is, is I'm retarded and all of y'all are really smart. Well, listen. I have tried to be the best person that I could be my whole entire life. And for you to continually rip me down because I have a, I'm a Marine and I know what I was and I am, I'm trying to tell everybody else what the police are now. They are what I was. And all you want to do is to look at that flag and comment about how I'm a government man is 100% fucking wrong. You, 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 you that, and it, it, that's ridiculous for you to even fucking contemplate or even say. You've watched me. You've seen what I've done. You say that you respect me, and I appreciate that. But that is not respect whenever the, uh, whenever you continually try to say that I am something that I'm not and that you want me to acknowledge because I have a flag hanging that I am something that I'm not is disingenuous, and you're just trying to fucking parse words, and you're trying to create some kind of fucking, I don't even know what at this point. That's wrong, man. It's wrong. All right, I'm I'm try, I'm, I'm going to give it one last attempt to find this video. Um, let me, so let me I, I suppose that you folks ain't ever figured out what your liberties are and what your rights are. A couple different things out there. I don't want to argue with this this man on his channel. Hey, um, okay. I uh, this is the kind of shit that I do, and I've done in the past. I created this video right here. James Comey, for, former head of the Justice Department. I think I'm going to like it here. You do? I do. You know why? It's simple. That's why I think I am. You know, I always thought white people should be in prison. I know it's the black race we keep there, but I always thought white people should be there. You, you know why? Why? To be with the black people. Does that sound too simple to you? No. Oh. Something tells us, get out of here. <laughs> White people feel that. You feel that? Well, but I don't feel it since I'm here. So, 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 <laughs> it must be somewhere safe. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's not? Thank you. That's all right. 
No cigarette. No, thank you. Not just now. That's all right. Oh, okay. Maybe later. Sure. I think you get on my body now. I don't know what that means. It means you should suck my... You're joking. Not at all. I don't think I could do that. Well, you better try. Seriously, we're going to be here a long time. I don't think we want to start like this. I'm not going to repeat myself. I'll scream. You're going to die. I can't, I can't do, can't do it. You can't, Mr. Right now, Mr. Right now, Jim. You best be nice. I created that video. I'd say I created that video five years ago, maybe six years ago. I know who the players, the movers, the shakers, the leaders, the people that are putting people in prison and they deserve to be in prison. The lot of them deserve to be in that spot right there. Okay. I've been doing this for a very long time. I've been anti-government my whole, almost my whole entire life. Up until the point that I became aware that what I would believed in, in the United States is not a, uh, is not something that is real. It, it, it's all been a lie. I've been lied to. We've all been lied to. So for somebody to sit here and tell me what I am is wrong, man. I don't, I've never once told you that you are somebody like this or that, have I? I've called Chili an idiot for fucking thumbs up and calling a, a cop a pig in the, in, the, in the trial. But I don't presume that he's a government man because he did that or he didn't do that. I don't perceive, I perceive him for the body of work that he has presented to me, which is overall 100% fucking awesome. We've been lied to, uh, lied to every day. So when, let me look and see if I found that video yet. I just cannot find that video. Hmm. That's fucked up. Um, so I'm doing the work now. And that's all I could do. I can't change things in the government wise other than what I'm doing, the little things that I'm doing now. And, and, and as, as far as I see it, the judicial branch is the one that's holding it all together. The judicial branch is the one that protects the legislature and the, and the executive branch. Passing laws, extreme laws on people that they claim interfere, obstruct government processes. They are overprotected in the law and we are underprotected. They don't pay attention to our civil rights. They pay attention to the citizen rights of sovereign citizens, the elite, the government, the people in power, the people with the billions and millions, and anybody that goes their way. Again, that judge that hold the gun, held the gun to that guy's head. He never, he still doesn't think he did anything wrong. But he is putting people in jail for holding guns up to people's heads. How can he not see the hypocrisy of it all? Because he realizes that he doesn't realize he's just been in a bubble his whole life. It, I, I can't do anything more than I could do what I'm doing now.
taking on the judicial system and doing it and doing it in, in a way that I know that I'm putting myself in harm. And you want to sit here and talk about what a Marine me is, a definition of a Marine, and you want to sit here and tell me that I'm a government guy? No, man, you're a badass dude. It actually pisses me off. I'm sorry, you're a badass. I'm not a good punk. Line, good to see you again. I'm not a punk. You, you got anything to I'm say to me, Lonsler? But I give you respect. You got anything to say, Thimble Line Slayer? Um, I don't know, man. Uh, I I just think you you're being fucked from left to right. <laughs> I, can't, I mean, what else can I say about this shit? Can I do any more than I'm doing right now? Either of you, Jack off Jack or Thimble Line Slayer, fighting the fight. Anybody no. judge? something that's already happened that this man is trying to change happening later then we, we may have a judge holy shit it's 1 30 in, in the morning right you didn't know that i just i fell asleep i just woke back up <laughs> Damn, I thought I heard you snore in there after, before you hung up. Hey, I just woke up to like 10 cows in my yard. Ooh. Right, I'm going to slaughter them and eat them now. Yummy, yummy. Hey, hit that fucking backstrap for me. Hey, what, what kind of fish mega sounds? Sure ain't no sheep or no cows. It's a goddamn yeah. thing. I've seen like 10 of them, dude. They ain't fake. Sound <laughs> as the fish make. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. Ah, right, there you go. Sure the fuck ain't no sheep. Okay. I'm going to end this show. Because it's 1.30 in the morning, and I'm sure everybody wants to go to sleep. Right? Right. I think you've done everything you can. I don't think there's too much more you can really do. You've done a lot, dude. You've done more than any lawyer's going to do. You've done more than anybody's really done for themselves. I mean, they're going to do what they want to do, like I said. But you've done what you can, bro. Yeah, you, There ain't too much more you can do. Uh, there, I mean, there, there really isn't any need for me to go out and audit anymore. Um, the real fight is in the courtroom and in the courthouse. That's the real fight. Um, I agree. I, I think auditing, me, me auditing, doesn't have as much of an impact as me taking them on in court and playing with their rules, using their rules against them, use, using their uh, etiquette and procedure and, 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 and their uh, um, canons against them, um, and then document it, and then, then put that on YouTube and talk about it and do stream yards like this. I, I don't want to be distracted by uh, stuff that really isn't pertinent or relevant. Um, and that's what auditing has become, auditing cops, cop watching. They've got that figured out, man. They got it figured out. Now it's time to take it to the next level. Um, film them DAs coming out of the office. Film them judges coming out of the courthouse. Because that's the only place that you're going to catch them on video. Ask them a question or two. And see how they react. That's where you're going to get the good reaction video. And you might end up getting the gun put, pointed at your head. That would be good video, which we've seen. Right? Isn't that exciting? Isn't it stimulating to watch a judge point a gun at somebody's head? Oh, boy. But you, but people still want to uh, go, go watch the cop 
watching the fucking uh, auditing videos. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna live, Jack? Yes, I am. All right, you're a badass, man. You are a badass. You call us out. You call us all out. We could just watch like videos. I didn't call anybody out. I just said that I will not do it anymore because I believe that uh, what I just said. I didn't name any specific auditor. I said, no, well, no, I, was, I will no, not no, audit no, anymore. No, 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 no. Listen, that's your words. I'm an auditor too, sir. Um, I'm I an just, auditor myself. I just <laughs> see it the way. No, no, no. You said it. I'm an auditor myself. You said it. Well, they can go on and do it themselves. I, I, but that ain't calling an auditor out. That's just explaining uh, who, who's down at the bottom here. Okay. Richard Tobias, good to see you, brother. Maybe they don't have enough fucking sense to do it. Well, um, maybe they get fucked over by the government. I, I did call out Chili tonight. Because, no, 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 not as an auditor, not as an auditor, but as a person that says that he is a constitutional scholar and, and, that, and that he went into that courtroom and he, he acted a fool. He, he, he wasn't, he wasn't a, a scholar there, was he? But he proclaimed himself on the stand as a constitutional scholar, which the judge and everybody there is like, huh? That's irrelevant. Who cares? He should have shown that he was a scholar, not proclaimed to be a scholar. He should have set an example of how to attack people, these people in court, with law, procedure, etiquette, rules. Etiquette pretty much showed in this time. That was etiquette and rules, and he could have been held in contempt. I'm pretty sure it was etiquette. The judge could say how he or he or she was disrespected. That's how we set ourselves apart from the kangaroo court that I've been showing all night long. It's a domain. I those, am. Mason, those judges live in within a domain of their own. I showed in my video, I, I, I try to lead by example. Judge. I outside. showed in my video what true professionalism and true etiquette and following the rules, following the procedures, following uh, uh, um, the canons of judicial conduct. The judge. Judge. I like chili. I don't care what you I do like chili. You ain't listening to me. You, you just, you're only hearing what you want to no, hear. No, no, don't even judge me, man. Just leave it alone. You're only hearing what you want to hear. I'm, I, I, I don't know if I'm, I mean, by this point, you should be through a whole fucking lube of fucking butt hurt cream, man. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm crazy. No, I, I think that you, that you only hear what you want to hear, and then you nitpick on things that, that, well, that you, um, you pick up. Listen, if, if you want to scratch your ass, I'm pretty sure you don't have to ask me. Richard Tobias, good to see you, my man. How's it going? I do that. Yeah. That's Richard, can you hear me, Richard? Huh? Richard DeBias is in, in the stream yard, but yeah, right. some... he might not be there. Yeah, he's not he's not there. Uh. All right. On that note, anyhow, hey Richard, I was gonna end the show before oh, you got how, on here. So how did I ask you to to itch my own ass? So If I was to join a government agency where I would have to ask another man 
to do my own action that I thought about, sir. Huh? You call yourself a Marine. You have to ask another man. Because you, you're being taught. Yeah, I... I could, I don't even understand what you did you are taught? Did you know all this? Everything that you know right now? Or or did someone teach you that? I've taught myself. And I've learned from other people too, like Chelly, Rogue Nation. An autonomous, an autonomous person. A what? To be able to teach yourself? I've taught myself with the help of watching other people and and my chat. Thin blue line, Slayer. Are you still here? I'm still here, sir. Can you explain that I've learned off of you more than anybody else? I sit here and talk to Matt. Uh, uh, underground auditor for a long time, man. We study stuff. We look over stuff. Um, we do a lot of uh, studying and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we mostly sat here and actually learned the stuff together. Yes. And not only that, hey, Richard, you back up here. Can you hear me? Oh, hi. Um, That's great. You know. No, he'll hold, hear me out, Jack because I was going to expand upon that. It's not only the thin blue line slayer, which it, he's incredibly intelligent. Okay. I, I've learned more off of thin blue line slayer than, than pretty much anybody because we've, we've communicated a lot, but the tribe and Jay Curvette and rogue nation and Nat and Cajun Randy and you, Jack off Jack. You're kind of and, kind of and and the tribe and line one and and Joko KS Cop Watch and 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 John D. Nicola. John D. Nicola is a brilliant man. Hi, um, here. Wait. No. Wait Joe Black. Hold on. I'm not done yet. Joe Black. Creole. I've learned from all of them. Chain Weaver. You cannot talk to somebody without learning from them, and you should have your eyes and ears open because you're not that fucking smart. Not you, me. I'm not that smart. Well, so I was an idiot. So when it comes to when you say, how have I learned what I've learned? Yes. Most of it has been, I've taught myself the rules, etiquette, and all of that, along with Thimble Line Slayer. Ellie is another one. Um, um, but it's it's self-education with the help of other people's brains. That's why I always say, I don't want money from you. I don't want clicks from you. I don't want subscriptions from you. I want to use your brain. That's all I ask. I've said it over and over and over again. So you think our brain is worthy? Your brain is more valuable than any money on the world in the world. Okay. Um, I agree. So um, I'm, I'm going to end it. Richard Tobias, you're not in here. Yay. Nay. Okay. I'm going to end the show because it's one 30 in the, in the morning. And I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow, man. I, I, I just want to Marzi. Say again. Thank you, folks. I'm Marzi. Hey, thank, thank you very much, Jack off Jack, for being here. I, um, I appreciate um, you tolerating me. And it actually, um, it, 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 what it does is exposes the, um, it exposes actually what, some people would all automatically go to like constitution or something, but it exposes the church. What I speak is church. 
I don't have anything else. I don't. I don't disagree with you. You. You right. are a person that does speak right. truth, but sometimes you, you deviate, and nobody knows what the fuck you're talking about. Well, that's because you're not from where I come from. No, right. you, you kind of deviate the subject matter that is 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 not on top. Sir, and, I and then I have to bring you back, and sir, and then we could continue the discussion. Sir, um, I'm not, sir, I'm not a marine. I'm not always going to. Be I, 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 again, Jack, I, I didn't, I didn't say sir, that. I'm not always going to be able to speak to you in, in that format. Okay. For Matt. Okay. Matt. I'm going to let everybody go. Thank you very much for coming in. I appreciate it. And I do truly love you all. All you freedom loving people. Have a good yeah. evening. Don't never let the Death Star take you over. Uh -huh. All right. On that note. Have a good night, everybody. Hey, Thimble Line Slayer, I'm going to give you a call in a minute. Okay, sounds good. All right, see ya, see ya. Love you all, and I'll keep you apprised of what ha has happened with my motions and my rescheduling of my trial. So, so uh, I'll keep you all in, in, in the loop. All right, thanks a lot. See ya. <laughs>